Okay. Keith is trying to leak lore juice. I'll always, always trying to leak lore juice, but I can't. I have to contain the lore juice in a mason jar with fucking Vasilius in it. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. The Rift Seekers set off towards the holy city of Ocelia, which lies far north of Skathen. They have a long way to go before they arrive, and must travel through the vast region of the Riftlands to get there. Without delay, our protagonists begin their long journey out to the kingdom of Anamnesis and into the fantastical wilderness of Ethos. Welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Home, everyone. <laughs> seven? S- seven? Something like that today. <laughs> yeah. Session 30. So, all of you guys are now leaving Sky Xanus. You're leaving the uh, lesser region of the Underwisp and have now, I believe, made it to the main road. Main road. Yes. Um, which yes, either can lead you up to Car- north to Karnaka, the other city state, the more tribal, uh, natural region of Anamnesis. Um, but I believe you guys are just heading almost like northeast, right? Yeah, we're avoiding. Yeah, we're avoiding it. You're kind of, you're yeah. just booking it out of an amnesis. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think we were getting ready to yeah. go to sleep. Yes, yes. Yeah. It got dark and yeah. all of you guys got to the main road, so you were going to set up camp. Um, you, I believe, were told to go to a town. Yes. Um <laughs> It's been a while, so I don't remember the, the exact so reason why, apart from... Oh, because uh, one of uh, Amber Security's guys yes. is heading over there. Correct. Trying to acquire... That's what I thought. A piece. And yes. my little uh, beacon is like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, in that yeah. direction. Yep, 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 yep. Correct. Yeah. Go right. Oh, yeah, also the Blooming Gods were like, hey, he's going to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. leading you. They, much like Dion did in the past for you... Mm-hmm. Is now just elevated to the next level where the three blooming gods have asked you to accept their like will to guide you. And now you are able to see the path of where you need to go to enact balance on a place where there is unbalance. The, exactly. You are you are the the incarnation of the mortal's balance on ethos. That's great. Mm. Damn, that's great. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. Kind of a big deal, I guess. Mm-hmm. Kind of a big deal. This, what are we, uh, big deal? I can't, Where I, come from? I can't believe someone who's a big deal is flirting with me. Oh, oh God. right? <laughs> just, just don't. Just, just. So, <laughs> you have all made it to the main road. The <laughs> sun has waned. <laughs> And it is now dark. For those of you who can see magic, you would see the iridescent, like Aurora Borealis, kind of uh, streaming overhead, giving it a nice glow. Um, the stars are out. It kind of gives a nice starry glow to the ground below you. Um, but what the fuck is going on today? <laughs> I don't know. We've just all missed each other so much. It's just goof out, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I'm locked in. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm locked in. I have officially locked in. Hell yeah. I started so, thinking about it. Where's my I'm gonna, I'm gonna and now I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> and I'm not even imagining it. I'm killing you. Know how much Dude, you know how cool it would be to get those lights to be like. I I want to do that so bad. Ooh. Yeah, I might, I might get more because I would like like nano leaf lights and stuff yeah. like across this area. So yeah. it'd be really cool. So I don't have a place to put them until at least next year. Mm. So, we so. can put like glowy stars in like. <gasps> <laughs> that would be so cool. Like, Anyways. Glowy dark stars. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. We can actually use this. So. Can we doing watches? You guys yes. have set up camp now. Um, I will need all of you. This will be like a new thing because you will be traveling a lot. You need to keep track of your rations. If you have any. Oh, I have five days. Good. I have 23 days. You have all eaten oh with, God. while you were in Anamnesis, you have like eaten lot. in that, like the towns and everything. Yeah, so you all lot. should still have rations. I have 23 days. Okay. So I'm set. 
I search. Cover for your ass. Because if you, you look have, on the map, do you, have good you would notice you have quite a ways to go to get to Acelia on foot. Yeah. Now there is um, quite a, not big sea, but there is a sea in your way to get to Ocelia that you will either have to cross either the river portion of it or the sea portion of it, um, wherever you decide to go. Um, but I believe if I did my calculations right, if you travel on like a straight path with nothing, no no encounters, no nothing, just literally walking, it's 17 and a half days to get to Ocelia. So <laughs> That's just walking though, that's not, Calculating for either getting mounts at some point or traveling by sea. Because if you travel at sea um, on a boat, I think it's like 72 miles per day or something like that. So you could cross the sea within like half a day, technically. Okay. Or two thirds cool. of a day. So, so yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so do keep track of your rations at the end of each day. Mark one off unless you forage for food, which is a thing you can do if there is food in the area. Um, yeah, that's just something I want to keep track of while traveling. It's okay, I have a really simple solution. Good berry. And that is? Chipberry. Okay. <laughs> I mean, not that's, again, that's girl. not the solution for everything. That's one of the best cold openings that we've had. Also, the, the, the water sipping one where I was like, and then everybody tried it. And I was like, try this. <laughs> okay. Because good berry gives you one hit point back oh. for each berry that you eat. And then it Full also. Full sustenance for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Well, solves your hunger for one whole day. Okay. So. Okay, yeah. I should do the rest and then I can change it. What about Very nice, very good. Let me really quickly just pull up the regional map that I have here. Oh, okay, so where I believe you guys are right now, if I'm correct, if you traveled east or northeast out of the Underwisp, you are on the main road between the Underwisp and the Ripple Rise District. That sounds correct. Okay, yeah, we cool. Up. So I read up more on like the the D and D like rules. I guess you can technically like if it's a flat plain, see up to twelve miles. So I can describe what the Ripple Rise District looks like. Yeah. It is a almost twelve mile like long lake, and uh, think of Blue Monkey Avatar movie, the floating mountains of Pandora. That's what this is like. It's very much inspired by it. There are floating islands and there are like waterfalls that are streaming off like all of them. Um, the water below always seems to be moving. It is never still. It is always, it is weirdly moving. It is not like a normal lake where they're just like waves lapping or overlapping each other. No, there's like, like yeah, it's like it's like the water in the lake is constantly shifting and moving. Um, the rise. <laughs> um, you would also be able to see a forest to the south of you where there's like a river that streams off into it. Um, you would also be able to see the lights of Place Acorum as well, uh, the city or town directly south of you. Um, you'd be able to see the lights from Sky Xanis. Um, every once in a while, you might hear the faint roar of uh, either like a dragon or a wyvern, something just way, way, way off in the distance. Mm -hmm. And looking over towards like the Ripple Rise District, you would be able to see maybe every once in a while, like a silhouette of a dragon, like flying across like the stars. Um, so that's kind of this area that you are in. But uh, camping on, are you doing it like on the main road or like off to the side? Off to the side. Okay. Okay. The side. Yeah, 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 that's fair. Yeah. Okay. okay, fuck you, go around. Yeah. So yeah, um, on this area, since it is like uh, still in the Rifflands, it is very much a uh, Scottish Highlands type of locale, I guess, in this area. Rolling hills of green, it's kind of like rocky, not too much shrubbery here and there, unless you go to like the, the forest or like 
like the other anomalous areas in Anamnesis or even in Lothmanger itself. Um, but it is at night, um, getting away from the Underwisp, it, it becomes hotter. Uh, the Underwisp was always a cool, like, temperate um, weather or... Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was always cooler yeah. in Sky Xanus, but getting away from it now, you can feel kind of the heat from the sun that is radiated off the land. It's a bit cooler now that it's night, but again, getting out of it, you can definitely tell that the temperature, the weather has changed. Um, so you have set up camp just off to the side of the main road um, in this area. Is there anything you guys want to do before taking watches? Anything you want to discuss before heading on? What would you like to do? Yes. If there's an area of fermenting, I would like to hunt. Uh, if go there is one. Yeah, go ahead and roll survival. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> Unnatural 20. The oopsie daisy fast goes. Fast goes. Mm. So in this area, there wouldn't be a lot of hunting unless you go south to the forest or northwest. North of the Underwisp, there is this uh, more hilly area where there are like um, almost layers of like white rock Ooh. that make up like its own like strange kind of like valley, I guess. Um, so if you want to travel, it would take you, I guess, not too long to travel to either locations to do some hunting, um, around these areas would either be like horses or other, uh, types of creatures that would live in the plains, um, maybe like a herd of sheep or cattle, maybe just like wandering around. Um, but if you're looking to like hunting, hunting, um, you'd have to go either north or south. I'll give my hands with some cattle. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, Whoa. <laughs> not, you going? No. not too far away. Um, you kind of like, um, take your leave from the group. Um, you like crest over this hill. Uh, you would see a, like a few like rocky formations and coming out from one of them uh, is just this like longhorn shaggy uh, cow, like a Highland cow, I guess. No! And it is, it is just grazing. And then you see it, the rest of the herd uh, coming around like these rocky formations and they're just, they're all just chilling. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like cows. Yeah, they're my favorite animal. <laughs> they're my favorite, actually. Cows and grizzly bears are my favorite. In case you were wondering. Grizzly bears? I can uh, see grizzly bear. But have you heard of a Kodiak bear? <laughs> no. If danger, why friend shape? I was just going to say that. If danger, why round ears? Yeah. Same thing with the what's the uh, what's that uh, the pal palaminx cat or something like that the um, the big winter cats that are like actually super deadly and will kill you. Yeah, yeah. And you want to know why? With their fucking eyes are in the front of their head. Yeah. Predator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ornan. So what are you doing? Uh, looking for like a like medium sized one, like not one that's like. Not one that's like a baby. Yeah. Not what I'm looking for. There's there's a few in this herd. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna kill one. Kill one. How do how do you want to try to do this? Are you like stealthing? Are you just walking up? They don't really seem to mind anything right now. Actually, man yeah. first beast. Wow, that's insane that you would do that to me. Okay. Chillest cow on earth? No, I went to go just roll for a chance to see if I would do something cool. And it hopped up on my D6 die and stopped on a natural one. <laughs> and I went, okay, well, it's not happening. <laughs> Very cool. The gods have declared. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, Welcome back to D&D. &D. It's my warpick, kind of like, almost as a spear. Your war pick as a spear. To like throw it, or 
If you want to throw your warp pick, yeah. If you want to throw it like a spear, mm, it's not going to hit on the sharp side. It's a pick. I'll just go for my glaive. You chuck your glaive like a spear? No. I'm just going to go after it with my glaive. Just kind of stealth it. If, okay, if you're trying to stealth, go ahead and roll stealth first. There's a 19 on the die. Okay, against its perception. So that's a 22. <laughs> Yeah, none of them, none of them realize that you're there. They are all just chilling, eating some grass. Just... <laughs> Actually, one of them would like look up and just, there's like hair in front of its <laughs> eyes, turns back around, goes back to eating grass. So Stop. None, of, Stop. none of them know that you're Stop. there. I don't know you're there, man. Just commit your crime. I'm gonna commit my crime. Okay, if you want to go up and, and slay a cow, yeah. go ahead and roll for an attack. This is cool. 17 plus 7. I know we got 17 it. plus 7. That's def- yeah, it's going to hit. All right. Um, so, Ornan, you stealth your way around. You stealth away. Stealth around this like rock formation and you pick out this like medium sized highland cow um, kind of separated from the herd and you stealthily like charge up to it, wielding your glaive overhead, slash right through, opens up this massive wound in the cow and it just mm, just falls over. (laughs) You have slain a cow. Congratulations. I hope you're happy with yourself, you fuck. <laughs> Coy. Don't They're see. making me feel guilty. As you should. <laughs> no food for you, no food for you. Only <laughs> for me. <laughs> you know what's great? That's okay, I've got five days of rations. <laughs> I've got five <laughs> days compared to my 23! Yeah. I, I have infinite, fuck you. We got a whole ass cow that's like a week's worth of. <laughs> Between <laughs> everyone, yeah, yeah. having to, to yeah. give it to me. Well, you also have to see. You've slain the cow, what are you doing now? Cat Trying to get back to camp. Do you know how much a cow weighs? Yeah, go ahead and roll athletics, please. Oh, uh, uh, luck. Yeah, just take it home in pieces. Like, take the Damn sun, good roll. Take the sun 18 plus back. 7. 25. That's pretty good. You are able to do this <laughs> at... Pff, Minus, uh, it wouldn't be half speed. No, it would be half lower. speed. It would exactly be half speed if you're carrying this thing or dragging it. 20 for half speed. Yeah, so you move 20 feet. So you, you're you able to get back to camp, but it's it's pretty late in the night. What are the rest of you guys doing at this? Are you guys going to sleep? Are you waiting or taking watches? Ooh, we can definitely do that. Okay, so. Oh my God. You slain a cow and you are now currently so dragging shit. it back. And I assume I'll, I'll take first watch since I'll just be like awake. Yeah. Alright, um, Dara. Okay. I gotta look up your runes thing, which I still haven't done the smart thing of getting the link to the, the website that translates all this. Um well, mine and it's Jara. <laughs> This one? Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, jar. Yeah, Jara. Is that what yeah. you have? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sweet. It's not perfectly up and down. It's so. Uh, right. No, I got gotcha. you. Where's the rock? What, what, where is it? Oh God. Oh, I have it written as different on here. <laughs> wow. Are you just, how are you using this? I typically, I activate it and I either throw it or I just hold it in my hand. So which one are you doing? I'll hold my hand. Wonderful. Roll me a d6. Okay. My leg while this happens. So As you are holding the rune out, you see it glow blue, and then in your hand, two good berries pop ah. up in your hand. 
Cha-ching. Brilliant. This rune produces good berries. 1d6 good berries. That's insanely. <laughs> 1d6 that's good berries? 1d6 good berries when you use it. 1d6 good berry. Good berry. It sounds like a different language. 1d6 good berry. <laughs> it really does. We're speaking D&D. 1d6 good berry. Okay, I'm going to copy this link and put it in here. There we go. Very good. There we go. All right. Anyone else want to do anything during this time? I think I was just going to keep an eye out. Okay. Just kind of keep watch. Just waiting for dinner to arrive. Okay. Ornan did not tell anyone where he was going. Okay. I'm nope. just keeping a lookout then. Understood. Starting. <laughs> Make a perception check for me. Perception. <laughs> Roll for starvation. Roll for starvation. Not 20. You see Ornan cresting over the hill, dragging a cow. <laughs> oh. Shit, he's carrying a whole ass cow. A cow! With, an, mm. with that natural mm. 20 as well. Um, like, mm. over Ornan, like way up in the sky, it's silent and it looks strange, but you swear you see the silhouette of some weird dragon just poof. Ooh. Its head looked weird. Its wings looked weird. disjointed. <laughs> weird. Gross. Hey, hey gross. no. <laughs> cool. But gross. Disjointed might not be the right word, but that's how I'm going to use it for right now because you can't really tell. It just kind of Almost like a plane, but going pretty fast, I guess. Just. Yeah. Huh. Hey, cow. Mm. What? Hmm? What? Oh, no. Ornan just, uh, he's carrying a whole ass cow. Oh, <laughs> a cow. Yeah. Not the cow. Yeah, no. I'm a confused. Don't worry. Moo. Moo, moo. Uh oh. I want a good berry. Good. I got it for free. Okay. Where are those spawn from? Rock. <laughs> that was a crazy rock. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you those is crazy. <laughs> uh, can can fuck with Lake? I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Okay. You're more than welcome to. <laughs> It's been a while. Let me bring up your special <laughs> features. Last time I fucked with my leg was like way back. I think we were still in Lothring or proper when I, I fucked with my leg. Per turn, per day now. Investigation. Look. Seventeen. You're able to tinker with your leg and nothing bad happens, but you're kind of exploring different parts of your leg and uh, you're able to figure out how to like pry apart, not really pry apart, but um, disconnect, almost like taking apart like a phone or like whatever, something like that, where you're like able to like piece by piece, set it down. You're able to understand um, more about this leg and how it like connects to everything. Um, the deeper you kind of go into, the, into your leg, the more chaotic it looks and the harder it is to figure out what all these gears and gyros and cogs and wires and everything do. Okay. Um, super, super hard to find out. On. There is a lot on. and you have the name of the guy who can yeah. activate it. So you put all the pieces back together and put that plate back on. Oh, just your whole plate? I kind of like keep the pieces pretty close to me as I'm like taking it apart and then I start putting it back on and one point I wanna like clank some of them, like two of them together and go, ah, ah, and then I take the half of the leg off and go, ah. What? Uh, you, did you, did you, what? Ah. Did, what? <laughs> I'll try. What? I'm just fucking with you. I hate you. I'm just fucking with you. Okay, I mean, I'll fix it. Damn, okay. 
Well, Don't be that... the boy who cried broken. No, bed. it's fine. That just fucking that just oh. totally blew. That sucks real bad. Okay, I'm gonna put it back together. Fuck me. <laughs> Need help with that though? No. <laughs> Which um, section? I was joking. I was okay. I was digging around. All right. Fuck. At this point, you would be back, Ornan. Are you digging? Do you want Do you want to dig? I got that. Uh, do you, <laughs> that's what you want. <laughs> you want to dig? <laughs> <laughs> what the? I'll see what I can do. I'm fucking. You want to dig? <laughs> Put that away. It's my fucking leg. It's Put it back on. Penis. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Does anyone want uh, some cup? Make an investigation check. <laughs> <laughs> Make an athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> Screwdriver. You're not an artificer. You cannot ah, use it. That is true. You pull it out, you're like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, where's the cup? I dropped it. I'm just a little bit. All right, so what am I rolling? Investigation check. Investigation. Take it. <laughs> Sure. And they're roaming, they're roaming around. You, you know that ranchers let their seventeen run free, right? It's the same thing with Macau. You start, oh. you're able to take it apart, uh, but the deeper you go, um, no. the harder it is to figure out what is going on in this leg. All right. You kind of get back to the part where you saw like that, that like uh, weird jar stuff with the spinning thing around it. Yeah. You're able to get to like that part. And then you're trying to figure out how that works, how to like take it apart and put it back. You just can't get to it. <sighs> oh, oh, hey. <laughs> it's a labyrinth of wires and brass and steel and cogs and gears. Why don't you just, no. Okay. No, God, no. Ambrose, I don't want to fuck Can up your life. Can you just give the man this poor leg back? And Ambrose is like in the middle of light Taylor. He just, ah, uh, no. What the, wait. What if, uh, what if find the smith? Also, what if partial godman looked at it? Partial, partial, Amberster? partial godman. I'm Jean. Ah, partial godman. Why would you want him Why to look at it? Why would we want that? Because uh, everyone is partial godman. Or we find the smith who made it. You were given a name. Yeah, but like that's not really at the top of my list right now. Do you okay. think that? I would do one uh, later, so. Yes! <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> 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 anyway, do you want some Okay. Oh, Go ahead and make, make another message. So check. Oh, you're, you're getting tall. later Thank into the you. night with this. What did you say? You're a doll. Thank you. Um, you want help preparing? Mm, what was the role? Give us a number. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> so that means there's a chance that leg just like doesn't. Oh. I would stop so fucking so with it. If I want to know, but Mr. Clement Brattlebore isn't on the list of our like priorities right now. Yeah, we don't even know where he is. Yeah. We have a name. Well. Well, well. Okay, so Ornan, you have this cow. Now you're gonna try to take the it. meat out of it, or what are you doing? Yeah. Skin and okay. skinning, cook it. Sure. I'm having Mirage help me. Yes. You can make a dexterity check with advantage to see if you can like cut the meat out properly, or at least without butchering it. But well, you are butchering it. Well, I'm yes. Okay. Oh, you're both going? Oh. No, well, you're rolling. you're helping. Yeah. Unless you want to roll with advantage. I did roll with advantage. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. So, if you're just using it for your, uh, well, also depends on how you're, if you're like curing the meat, if you're cooking the meat, how you're preserving it. Um, it could last. I don't even know how much meat would last like just raw without it being preserved. What's it like two days maybe at best, how, if even? How cold can I make it with Ray of Frost? Uh, Man, make an Arcana check holding. for me. I wish we had a bad opening. Arcana. The, does yeah, Amber's not have a future campaign? Amber's not have a <laughs> yeah, does anyone have a fucking bag? I don't think so. I thought Ambrose did, but I don't think he does. Ah, 11. 
that's good enough. Um, <laughs> you, if you wanted to, you could use Ray of Frost to like temporary freeze it, therefore preserving the meat, which would last it. I would say I would give it like two days of it being cold. And then if it's not cold, two days without it, um, before it spoils. I'll keep it on 41. Okay. Yeah. So that is the same yeah. temperature for me. I is. I got it. So you ray of frost the, the meat? Yeah. Okay. I'll say yeah. you'll have between the entire group, um, I'll say four days worth of rations for everyone. Awesome. Sweet. Pre- uh, preserved with Mirage's help, it'll last you four days unless you keep doing it after every two days. Okay. okay. So okay. it's a camper. Yeah. So we'll just say you keep doing it yeah. at the end of each day or something like that. I'm not like keep cooking. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, four days. <sighs> four days of beef. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I'm so excited! What a wonderful oh. day! <laughs> I unironically started singing the <laughs> whatever you made. It was, uh, the you sky is a red, big meaty cloth. Nice moons of red, big meaty cloth. Whole festival on fucking pause. I yeah. think to myself, what a wonderful day. <laughs> I sang that. I thought it was so funny. So good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook up the meat. I'm gonna cook up the meat. Okay. Yeah. Cook up one day's worth of rations of meat for the entire group. There you go. You all feast on cow meat. Very good. On beef. Mm. Good job. Cow meat, my friend. The cow's like, whatever. And um, Jimmy's like, no. Which no. <laughs> is terrible. Like, I you see, I was going to say, Smother that bitch. Yeah, you see uh, Ambrose uh, bring out this like tiny box, opens it up. There's like um, divides in all of them. And you just like, Starts like sprinkling stuff on top of the meat. Where the fuck is that then? What the- You're keeping it in your ass? Where did that come from? What is that? It's my spice box. I bought it at the festival. You got a spice box? Yeah. 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 Great. It's smart. I didn't know they had spice boxes at the festival. There's a lot of shit at the festival. Like wraps it up and then puts it away. (laughs) (laughs) See, I got to the whole time. Yeah. I just narrow my eyes to impossible it's impossible little slits. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, you can't even see anymore. Yeah, like, hmm, that is very Ambrose. Yeah. Yeah. That's up your thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I mean, I just have one. Oh my God, all reliable. I just don't have Did a one. Zone? Ah, yes, that'd be great. Thank you. I just have a dragon seat. spice. Oh! oh I thought. I, I thought. I, Wait, what? I thought this was something else. Okay. Um. Amberster, I got the one. Amberster? Amberster. Amberster? <laughs> He's here! He's here! Fuck! <laughs> Boss music starts playing. Ambrose, I got the one and done. Bucko. Huh? Come on. What's this You've place? had it before, right? The dragon spice? Yeah. Didn't has he? I don't think so. Actually. I don't know. I don't think he has. I really recommend it. Honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. Really good. He's gonna make a constitution saving throw. Come on. He does. That's all. Oh, hey. Damn it. You just yeah. immediately yeah. sweat. <sighs> yeah. It's got a nice kick to it. That's right. Takes another bite. <laughs> he he powers through it. Um, it looks like it's hurting him, <laughs> but it, like there's like a glimpse of like, hmm, wait, this is actually giving it a, a unique flavor and the experience seems to be not entirely painful. Like, it's, it's, it's all right. It's the ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, he, he, he found it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. You guys enjoy a nice meal. Oh. Hey, 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 guys. Question. Mm-hmm. Well, the, I don't think I've actually ever asked before. So, obviously, everybody kind of knows, like, you know, a way of life and all that stuff. Um, But, like, what does it, what does it look like, actually? The what? Where's life? Oh, yeah. What? 
Like, I know it's colorful and it's wispy, but like, other than that, I don't... Remember that time that I did that for a kid? Shoto wears like, can I do that again? That kid was magically attuned to aware. So Maybe she could that. she could see it. If you want to attempt to show Macau aware's light, I'll allow it. Yeah. I would also <laughs> like to see. Oh, <laughs> That's like I could what, 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 what do? Mm. If you say I'm on a wheel, openly. Like, yes. It, yeah. it will I I'll give you this. You can roll. You can roll nature as a wisdom check or arcana. Arcana will be to show aware's light. Nature will be able to show life energy. So it's a little different, but you could be able to show the different energies of magic within this world, depending on what you want to do. Because arcana is an inch based and that's goose egg. So it's purely on wisdom. That's a plus three. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. It's Arcana thing, or though. wisdom? I'm, I'm gonna try the nature energy. Okay. Who, whose energy is that? My brain is. That's just the life energy of the biosphere. Okay. You are channeling person. your your druid your druidic power, yeah. your ties to the earthly body of the biosphere, um, to show Mikhail like the energy that courses through it. Okay. Okay. I've been driving I, with you for two years and I don't know what your magic looks like. I'll try for both of you, but I can't guarantee for either of you. The only requirement for this is that you will have to be in physical contact with Macau to show That's the light. Fine. Yeah. Can we go hands and see goodbye? We'll do this one at a time. Okay. Um, for the best luck, I can't show you where's light. Mm-hmm. I can show you the life energy of the biosphere. That sounds pretty to me. I can try a wear's light, but okay, unlikely. Okay, what if try both? I mean, ba da ba boom pow. Do you think you, you could, want? Can I try? Do you want to do the other? Yes. Yeah. Do, do, do you think you could do the wear's light? Am I doing both well? simultaneous? I'll certainly try. I'll certainly have a <laughs> both connection. You to it. and then us. <laughs> yeah. Sure. If you want to like double team this to try to show it, then yes. Again, the only requirement is you have to be holding on to Macau to show them. That's it. Yeah, that's easy enough. Okay. Everything else is up to you for flavor on how you want to try to perform this. (laughs) (laughs) Think about how you. I'll I'll give you kind of an idea. When you use magic, I'm. All of you are aware of this. You are essentially pulling from the body of aware, the light of aware, morphing it into magic. To my cleric magic. Yes. yes. Um, life energy, you're kind of doing the same, but instead of pulling from up, you are weaving yeah. the energy from the ground and pulling it from the earth. Yeah. That's so fucking Yeah. So if you pull from below, I'll pull from above. Yeah. <laughs> so. Now it's up to you to decide how you want to flavor this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure where it's light. It's just <laughs> Okay, who's going first? That's up to you guys. You were the one who suggested it. I was assuming you. Okay, I'll be honest. Uh, That's first. Me, me. <laughs> how much room do I have for flavor barring the fact that if I fail? Because I have an idea that I think could be cool. Uh, just go for it and I'll let you know. Okay. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. Even, I mean, if, it is, I, even if it is. Even if it is. Just cook until he turns the stove You off. are, uh, as far as you guys are aware, you are the only people like in this area. Um, and I will, if it's if it's cool enough, rule of cool, you know, I'm all for it. So all go right. try whatever the fuck you want to do. This is not I'm, 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 I'm giving you the opportunity to to do whatever you think would be the, or uh, however cool it would be to for Dara to, you know. I had an idea when I've gotten a better idea. Yeah. You want to see life energy at its finest? Yes. We're gonna go sit in front of a tree. I know. 
Okay. The, what you know what? Nah, no joke. Mr. Mr. Tree Hugger Man. I wasn't going to say anything. I was. Yeah. And you did. Shut the fuck up! I'm going two or three. Let's go. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> sit in front of me. Okay. <laughs> Hold the stuff. <laughs> Put my hands over yours. And what I'm going to try and do is I want to have vines, physical vines, because the lot, the staff itself is carved with them. I want to have physical vines grow up and around from the ground, up around the, the base of it, and then have flowers spread, sprout off of it. That's what I want yeah, to try and do. That can absolutely be done. Cool. Easy. Go for it. That's an 18. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Oh, okay. So, as you're holding on to the staff, the vines grow up and around, and flowers start to bloom. They're the same flowers, they're gonna be the same like color as like yours, <laughs> and start blooming. And then the vines, as you're looking down at them, Macau and Dara, you're like channeling this life energy. You would be able to see like this almost green golden light um, stream from like the flowers, like these like sparkles start to form, go into the flowers and then lines of this green golden light start flowing through all the vines and then spread out around you. You can see every blade of grass. You can see the moss growing on the rocks. The leaves that are falling like around you are now imbued with this green golden light. The branches and the roots, you can see all of it, almost like you have x-ray vision. And it keeps going out forever. <sighs> it goes deeper and deeper down to the ground and around you. The air feels so much different. It feels so much better. It feels alive. <laughs> That's not supposed to be creepy. It feels alive. <laughs> 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 so, for the first time in your life, you are able to see the energy of the biosphere. You see that this thing is alive. It is a massive biological construct and everything is tied together. You feel one with the ground, almost like you're sinking into it, but you are solid like a rock. Same thing with you, Dara. But this feeling is more natural. It's more comforting. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah. Oh my. And as you continue channeling it and you keep looking around, you would start to stop the life energy and it would all come back into one flower. The like little stems in the middle of it grow or glow and then the sparkles kind of like fade out. And you're back in the reflance. So, yeah, that's what I see. That's what Eldira saw all the time. That's why I am who I am now. That's fucking cool. You just see that all the time? And it takes some concentration. Let's see it like that, at least. Dude, I thought I was like, the shit. <laughs> okay, that's so good. I'm so boring. Oh my god, okay. I'm normal. I'm totally, I'm totally normal about this. You're cool. Good. That's so cool. Okay. <gasps> okay, okay, um. Just be gentle with the lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know when I'll take the stuff back. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just get a bunch of chop back. <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of energy um, 
Dara, that was purely you trying to like look for that energy and like uh, expand your awareness of it mm -hmm. um, and sharing it with Macau. Um, you can kind of like use that whenever you like want to like channel that stuff. Um, but when you like use that life energy, that same kind of like life and that same feeling of you being like attached to the ground and feeling solid and everything feels alive. That's what you feel when you cast like druid magic, like that life energy is what you're, you're not really taking from it, but you're using it, if that makes sense. Like rooted in place like a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, that was life energy. Did you want to do something? Yeah. Okay. I really want to see the upon the wares light. Okay, so it's going to be you and Ornan then? Yes. All right, so what are you What are you doing? Yeah. So, I'm going to take one of Ornan's hands. And then, I just want to breathe deep and try to like draw upon the light and very much like like uh like incense smoke just like little ribbons of multicolored lights just kind of spiral down into my hand okay and then i bring it down toward us and the lights just kind of like dance around us make an arcana check to see if you can share that yeah. vision with Ornan. Please, 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 please. That's too please, fucking cool. Yeah. Come on, really? And while we're not levitating per se, we do feel like a little weightless with the clothes and hair rippling. Oh yeah. Yeah, Hell, please, yeah. Please, 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 please. I don't know what that means. What am I rolling for? Arcana. Uh, okay, 12. 12 would do it. Yes, yes. yes. <gasps> We're level five. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty fucking good. We're level kind of, five. Kind of a big deal this is really easy so, to see. Really you are able to share this with Ornan, but it is strange for you to. <laughs> <laughs> this one. It is strange for you to. Where, buddy? So. Wolf times. As you are holding on to Ornan's hand, you lift your hand up. Um, you are trying so hard to channel Aware's light to not just use it, but more to just show someone else. It is a very different way of weaving this magic. Um, instead of transforming it into like a physical spell, you were purely just trying to um, connect with this light. As you're holding onto Ornan's hand and that light descends in ribbons and starts floating around you and your hair starts to lift up. Ornan, you can see it, but it's difficult. You are able to see the different strands. Um, you are able to feel that like uh, weightlessness, but you can only see the strands from where they, like where Mirage's hand is. They kind of fade in from nowhere, that iridescent light floating around um, her hand and then kind of like her body and then starting floating around you. Uh, but you can't see the light yeah. in the sky. All you can see is what Mirage is channeling. Is there anything else you want to try to do? 12 was enough to show Ornan the light that you can channel, but not so much as like what Dara did. I'll give you another chance if you want to try something else to try to help it out. I mean, did you guys do this after I did? Or same time? Or was it at the same time? I think we're doing it at the same time. All right, then yeah. yeah. Never mind. All right, I'm gonna. All right. Uh... <laughs> okay. I don't... It's gonna look and sound weird, but I wanna take Ornan's other hand mm -hmm. and put them in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to draw them. Maybe it takes two hands to pull down more. Like, <laughs> Go ahead and roll again, you sure. Can, you can, like, <laughs> like, you can try to like spread them out. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, playing with the light. Okay. Yeah. yeah fuck with All it. right. Tinker with it, bro. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. What, what, are you, what are you trying to do here? I think I'm going to just try to 
move my arm kind of more like like a dance, like a very gentle, like see if I can maybe just pull and move the light around to maybe activate it a little more. So are you essentially like dancing with Ornan kind of? Yeah. Or okay. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Yeah. Roll it again. Roll Arcana again. Please. Fuck! No! Hey, with advantage. Yeah. Because I said so. Because <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said with, so. With advantage. I am a couch of all. What was the roll? It was three. Hold, hold on. Okay. So obviously I'd be done at this point because mine was not... It was not, sure, it was yeah, so yours was pretty so, quick. I can see O'Hare's light. You can. Could I go over there and try to aid? Absolutely. Do you want to roll or give her advantage? Advantage. Go ahead and roll again. How are you doing this? I would come over, take off my necklace, mm-hmm. and drape it over your hands. Okay. It's a lot of ambushes and they're like, fucking idiots. <laughs> just so he is sitting there tailoring and watching this. Dinner and a show. Better. 13. Hey. That's higher than the one before. Come on. We're doing this awesome little dance, going necklace. I'm aware. It's the spectacle, man. It's, you're aware. It's, 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 <laughs> I am. Thank you. <laughs> we got on the Aurora Borealis. So. Come on. For Dara, Ambrose, and you, Mirage, you create this magnificent spectacle of light. Um, uh, Dara and Ambrose, um, Dara, what you would be seeing, this light would be streaming down and centered around Ornan and Mirage are these dancing iridescent ribbons of light creating this uh, magnificent glow around these two as they're dancing around. Mirage, you can see this. Um, And around Dara's uh, necklace as well, you see those ribbons of light. Um, They spread out across Ornan's hand and onto yours and uh, like up your arm uh, to where now you are almost like imbued with this light as you're dancing around. It's (laughs) It's beautiful for those who can see the light. It's very hard for you to somehow envision channeling what you are seeing to Ornan. Ornan, you still see the same thing, that fading in the, the light, um, the ribbons dancing around Mirage, but that is that is it. It's pretty fucking pretty, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. For, for, for bitches that can't see, yeah. yeah. Still that, giving them a dance. That, for the blind that, bitches and your dance. The light. Like, like staring, like eyes wide, oh. like. The light would also then come down to that necklace around you and start like dancing around and you can almost feel a presence on your hand that's not Mirage, but it's faint, it's very faint. So unfortunately, you're not able to show the entire scene, but Ornan has caught a glimpse of what Aware's energy looks like. So this is what you see all the time? All the time. I wish I could have represented it a little better. No, it's okay. We can always try another time. I like that. This, this was really cool. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's a big deal if it's the first time. <laughs> As a uh-huh. flavor question. Oh, uh, not duh. important, but I'm that was Jamie. Oh my god, Macau, shut up. That was Jamie, that was Jamie, that was Jamie. Okay. <laughs> Macau just, I get it, I was- And if you can't answer it, I'm aware. It is a very- No, he's aware. (laughs) So, are you doing anything else? Mm. At this point, um, as you and Orin are talking, that light would begin to fade away as you're no longer like channeling it. So you kind of like let it go. I'll answer your question just a bit, because that's a good question. I hope you were at least able to catch a glimpse. Yeah. I'll put on a more spectacular show next time. That was really cool. Thank you, Tara. I did what I could. Thank you. 
but that's not me. Soft hands and, and flowers and lightness. Soft hands and flowers. Yeah, but did you get a dance out of it? No, but I think I have an experience as well. You we both had very different experiences. They're two. Seeing both at the same time is a lot. Oh, shit. We felt more stimulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, if I saw that all the time, I would just be staring, like, into the sky, just like. Yeah. You give it 10 years, you get used to it. Yeah, Jesus. The first like... 10 years of existence, you're just like, you think ah. parents think you're fucking insane. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> like, you as a child, were you just staring into the sky, like, Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> Redhead is like a lad. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like oh sitting, like it's sitting in a tree, just like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Daddy, sweetie, please come down. Shut no, up! No, freaking the fuck out! <laughs> you just walk outside the house and you're just like, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Imagine. Ugh, baby, that probably would have been like scarier for you, hmm? actually, because like cleric and. Like you th- study, you go to a temple, and then you like yeah. see it, right? Sorcerer. Born like, with that shit. You just were you born with it, with it, or were you like struck the divinely and oh. just like? <laughs> I was born with it. So nice. you saw it from the beginning. Did you? From did you beginning. like not know that other people couldn't see it until you mentioned it one day, and someone was like, "What?" Well, you were born with it, but you didn't come into power until a little later in life. No. Yeah. Okay. Born with it still I don't recall if it was light. like a specific event or if it's it just like, like oh, I just kind of grew into it. Because like, I had like one of the gear tattoos when I was a BB. A BB. You did. You yeah. Be. Okay, that yeah. skipped my mind. So yes, that yeah. is my bad. You would yeah. have been able to see and it from when you were born, correct? Oh, it was like okay, I see. Older, more I, I thought like for a second that like all of a sudden poof power, but no, it was more of an awakening to your power. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see. Never mind. I'm wrong. Happens. Yes, because my parents were like, ooh, gear tattoo. All right, it's the one. We just got the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one. Cool. one. Our the titles, chosen. Our the titles ring. for our justice. Cool. The one gear. Yeah. The one gear. Yeah, so you had to study and practice, and you just saw it right straight. Yeah. Yeah. Studying and practicing isn't quite right, but yes. Mm. Well, like going to the temple and like being, being enlightened. Yeah. Prayer. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Enlightened? Because it's aware. Okay. So, to answer the question you sent me, um, so, like you guys were saying, uh, sorcerers, you are born with the ability to weave a wares light into magical abilities. Uh, clerics and paladins, um, through worship and prayer and their connection to the gods, are able to see, um, like, through the connection, a wares light. Um, Wizards learn to see it once they're able to like um, understand how spells work and they spend time doing almost exactly what you two were doing was channeling that ability to see the light. Then they're able to weave it into magical abilities. Um, Warlocks work a little bit differently as their powers do come directly from their gods but they have to use that arcane energy to be able to weave the magic that their god empowers them with so yes they do see the light it's not as strong as it's purely a necessity to use magic but their power comes almost strictly from whatever boon or pact that they have. Which kind of makes sense because of the stack. I love the caster they are too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I love Dungeons and Dragons! Bards are almost kind of like... Um, Bards in this universe are a little different because their power comes from Muse, which is the god of art. And right. Muse... Um, I guess I can just tell you because you are a cleric and you would know this, but I guess everyone else can listen as well. Hello. Um, so, <laughs> you need to know this too. Yeah, <laughs> you should know this too. Um, Muse is the god of art and how he works. Um, 
I basically took the saying, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder and took that literally. Muse lives in like your eye. And so when you see something as beautiful, you are able to see like glimpses of him at the corner of your eye. And until you like realize like what is beauty like in your mind, then you can see him in his full beautiful oh. glory. Um, so bards learn to kind of see muse in every aspect in their arts that they perform in their instruments their music whatever they do they learn to see muse and through muse they're able to use their uh, musical instruments or performance arts as magic so it's not a wasteland at all uh Unless they like like use magical abilities that are not specifically like coming from like art and stuff. Yeah, um, but it kind of turns into seeing the beauty of the wares light. Ye <laughs> yes, I was gonna say they're almost like warlocks, where like they still would use a wares light. All magic users have to use a wares light because that is pure arcane energy. Right. Um, however, for like bards. When they see Muse, they're able to channel his like divine magical presence into what they're doing and channel it outward as magic. Warlocks almost do the same thing where they take from their god, use that power with arcane energy, boom, Eldritch Blast, uh, Fear, whatever. Yeah. It's the same kind of thing, just a little different. Is, is it like, you see if I'm understanding this, is it like, once they're able to properly see and understand the muse, then it's like so then like, aware's like aware's comes light and naturally. Able to use it. Okay, yes, that's cool. Um, that's rad as fuck. The fuck. Artificers, um, I don't think artificers would be able to see aware's light because of Syphic's presence in this world. They would only strictly get their abilities and their their ability to use like artificer spells or to invent things through syphix so most if not all artificers would have either like a small piece of syphix that they use as their like arcane focus or um they through prayer and worship and their connection to syphix are able to do what they're able to do hell yeah that's so rad. Mm -hmm. I just had a thought that's not even fucking important. But, so, uh, level five artificer, if you are whatever the fuck Rasmorn is, yeah. you can make an arcane firearm. Mm -hmm. And it counts as your spellcasting focus. You're legit just putting a piece of Syphix into a fucking gun. Yeah. Can you imagine sick. a similar situation to, like, the piece of Syphix is the bullet, but it has, like, a like a recall and it reloads itself. Like the arrow Whoa. from uh, like Yondu's arrow. Yeah, you just, <laughs> it, it goes back and you just bam, bam, bam. And just, that would be so sick. That would actually be right. Syphix revolver. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. Cow dies. <laughs> Don't. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's to answer your question how different spell casters use their different like abilities thank you mm -hmm. now i'm here and i'm already on the same mind mm -hmm. eldritch knight and arcane trickster for fighter and rook mm -hmm. uh, do they just gain the ability to see light as right? they level up uh they would so i don't know exactly how those are subclasses right yes. so they kind of like level up into it yeah so totally yeah right. Uh, how they would work if one of you were those things um, you would much like you how you were able to find the life energy and use it it'd be the same thing where okay. it's like you're strictly a fighter you know you only can use martial abilities but as you level up and you have the knowledge of that like Eldritch Knight or Arcane Archer um, you would slowly be able to see the presence of aware here and there and then once you obtain that subclass you'd be able to use that like first spell or first magical ability question mm -hmm. now, now i'm just like i'm on this yeah yeah, yeah. go board. ahead go ahead uh this is a wild bad one so i don't even know, remember if you were allowing it echo knight mm -hmm. does that how does that work the same shit because i know that one's kind of weird echo knight would work in the same way where they would be able to depending on like your backstory because i like flavoring things differently yeah. but essentially um yeah it would be you'd be manifesting 
um, your like physical aura as a martial fighter and be able to just take that aura and poof, bamf it into an aware's light arcane being as an so Echo Knight. Cool. Yeah. That's how, that's how I would put it. Mm -hmm. Rad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would that then be visible to those who can't see aware's light? Okay, okay, it would be because it would be that same thing as uh, manifesting it into a magical, physical thing. That makes sense. Right? Because oh, everyone, like when you cast a spell, everyone you can, can see, the see, everyone can see the magical spells being casted because it's a physical thing on this world. They all have a physical effect. Yeah, you just can't see it. When here. you're harvesting or taking that light and weaving it into magic, that's different. Not everyone can see you and then iridescent light and then boom, fireball. It would just be like fireball. <laughs> it's right. a, yeah. Cool. So like, like that's that's what you would see. You would just know that like these guys are just like, like Eldritch Blast would just be poof, Eldritch Blast. And then you wouldn't, Yeah, you wouldn't see like Aware's light being like. <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. it's the beginning and then yeah. it's like, yeah. I don't, see, I don't the see the shield forming in front of you. Exactly. Yeah. You don't That's you don't see cool. the aura around it, the energy surrounding it. Why are you guys spooky? Exactly. I don't know what you're doing. I'm like, what's going on? Oh fuck! Shield. Oh, oh, it's a shield. Yeah. So. That's that's kind of how magic works with all the different things, and again, depending on what you guys were, like how we did you with Druid, it'd be like the same thing, where you okay. slowly <laughs> kind of weave your way into it, and like with your backstory, it was easy to tie in you to Druid. We already oh, had yeah. that connection, so I'm like, boom, I know what to do. Um, so yeah, that's how it, that's how it would be for the different. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Radical, radical man, radical. You guys shared your magical arcane vision with Ornan and um, Macau, or at least tried to with Ornan. So the night continues on. What are we doing? It is getting late into the night, Watches. so sleeping might be a good option as of now. Watches. Watches. I can take first watch. I'll do one of them. Okay. I'll do watch. Okay, do you want to do second? You have a night. Is there a, an early riser? Yeah, probably. probably I am not, so I'll do the second. <laughs> okay. Good night. First watch. Sleep good. Very good. Go ahead. Night, everybody. Fourteen. Okay. With a 14, that herd of cattle would kind of like come back around and you would hear them kind of like tromping off in the distance. Um, but like at some point they kind of just like stop and rest for the night um, off in the distance. But other than that, other than that, your watch goes without, you know, without a hitch. So okay. I go in over, I just... <laughs> no. You're done. Sorry, this is really funny. Ribs. Well, I didn't break them. Go to sleep. Go to bed. Good night. Go, go, take Good a fucking watch. night! Shh, shh, shh. Go take a watch. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> mm. Second watch. I hope a sheep eats you alive. Not a sheep? That's really weird you say that. <laughs> what? Because in my other game, that is a legit. <laughs> Fear of theirs that the ship that they have, their sheep that they have in their ship, will eat them. That's I mean, from what we know. Yeah. Do I have a bruise? That hurt me. Sure. I think I have a bruise on my elbow. Very gently. Yeah. Oh, fifteen. With a fifteen, it's a very peaceful night every once in a while the breeze hits you and it's nice and cool and kind of like wrap yourself up in a blanket but um other than that nothing happens i guess i'm scared i was trying to Wait, think of like with the 15 what else i could do but i'm like i couldn't do that yeah i do pause and i got scared yeah. every time i was i was thinking i was thinking but yeah, nothing, nothing happens. You're in a relatively safe spot, so nothing yeah. happens. Uh, during 
time of watch, I would just every once in a while, I would just like glance at like a specific, like I would look at like Mirage for a little bit, and then I would go to like look at normal stuff, and I'd look at Jarrah for a little bit, I'd just look at everybody for a little bit every once in a while, and then I'd kind of sit, and I could look down my hands. Are you good? And then I go like. Uh, oh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Did you, did you sleep good? No. It's fucking early. You're like an early bird though. Yeah, with coffee. You drink coffee? Sometimes. It tastes better. No. <laughs> okay. I hope it. Fucking, I hope a bird shits on you. <laughs> I hope it's a, I, I hope a sheep eats you whole. <laughs> I hope a bird shits, shits on you. I will have go and shit on you. Just like, no, please. The be. night shitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good night. Good night. Good night, Lara. Thank you for showing me the flowers. Yep. Yep. Okay. I am going to take my watch and have go and assist me in this. Hell yeah. It gives me a way, way better modifier than I needed it. That's an 11. Are you looking through Gawain's eyes? Is yeah. that how this works? Yep. Let me double check, but I, I shall have it pulled up and I close that shit. I'll close that shit. I don't want to grab the book because I'm really lazy. On the lookout. Uh, the description itself is comfortable sharing information about what it notices. You can replace your wisdom modifier with theirs. Okay. So, okay. I'll just say, um, I guess if it sees anything, it would alert you. Yeah. Basically. Right. Yeah. So this time he wouldn't see anything and doesn't alert you anything. It seemed pretty peaceful out tonight. Cool. Yeah. All right. The sun begins to wax. Light. Golden light beams across the land and you all wake up. 25th. 24th. I said 24th. That's what he said. I heard 25th. I heard 25th. Whoa, my brain rewired that to 25th. Because that was the most clear I've ever heard that. I'm like, what the fuck? Here's me. Let's be upon ye. Let's not. No, it's sad. The sun starts bright. Let me make coffee. How are you using coffee? Do you have coffee beans to make coffee? I would have bought them because I can make free good berries, which is free meals. Understood. Okay, you make coffee. <laughs> I've got so much good berry out my ass at this point. I don't even know what I'm doing. Are you the best sleep in my fucking life? Or Nance not even on his bed. It's just You're like there's an the arm office. where Macau yeah. was laying, and Macau's now on the opposite side. Yeah. Do you guys know how to sleep, Mom? Uh, he fucking doesn't. Coffee. You fuck. You serious? Get the fuck. Don't. I'm it's so the morning. You snore so loud. I don't snore. Yes, you do. Do you have sugar? No. Ambos. Does mm. Macau snore? <laughs> I was gonna say no. I know I snore. Yes. No, you just lied! <laughs> you just concocted a lie to be a shit! <laughs> no! Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. You no, did I, snore at no, the no, end! Because, because I didn't hear it. You and you that's why I am like smacking the He definitely nose. snores. No, no hey. Oh, he okay. so definitely snores. I was Dude. awake. Was I snoring? You don't snore most of the time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I snore all the time. Yeah, I wake myself up. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Half fuck you. Do you have any sugar? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you insult me and then ask me for something? You I think said, that's the most clever thing I to do? I said half fuck you. I got the full fuck you. Yeah, just so. I can shove it. Then you get half sugar. He <laughs> pulls out <laughs> a sugar cube and then like breaks it no. in half and it like crumbles in his hand Bro. and then he hands it to you. <laughs> that's just me. No, Ooh. honestly, that's the funniest shit I've seen in a while. And like the other <laughs> partial of the like other cube is like still intact. And you... 
Well. Hey, Ambrose, can I have some sugar? Of course, Arnon. Here coffee? you go. Thank you. Here's a... <laughs> can I have some coffee, Daryl? No. <laughs> hey, oh, no. Open wide. Oh, no. No, it's on here. It's on here. Yeah, here's gonna... your mug of coffee. Oh, I was going to try to smack the coffee mug out of the skin. Oh. I would love one. Thank you, Daryl. That's black. Thank you. Perfect. Out of the kindness of my own mm. heart, do you want to switch coffee pots? I haven't had coffee for a little sugar in it than Yes. I just like Please. subtly sprinkle in a little bit of the Are dragon spice. Nice <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, because now we're not talking about me snoring, <laughs> so yes. No. No. You have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You've got a fucking problem. <laughs> Why? No, this, is, <laughs> this is against the god's will. It, it <laughs> tastes like it is, too. Uh, yeah, I just yeah, tried sure. it with everything. No, I put a little I bit in. Don't. I didn't stir it. You just breathe fire. It's not a little bit. Okay. Are they talking? Kind of cool. Isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Just yeah. chug the whole thing. We're just gonna have a fit about it later. Anyway, just, the coffee just, supplies. Just yeah, drink the coffee. I see what he's like drunk, but now I'm wondering what he's gonna be like caffeinated. This might not have been a good idea. Does he not have like caffeinated tea or anything? Most of it's like, never mind. Yeah. It's not caffeinated. Spiked? No. That's what it used to be. What? The, the, I just went back in here. Just, uh, you gave the most energetic person here a full mug of coffee. And I just chugged it because it was fucking gross. I don't like coffee. I'm a Why did you accept? Because I want, I don't know. I wanted to be part of the team or the coffee in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. There's no requirement. I know, but okay. We can just get you tea. Okay. <gasps> yes, please. Yeah. Um, Find some tea let's pack up our shit and let's go. Tea shop. Yeah, put on the new outfit. Go. Yeah, the dye is dried. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah. New outfit. Yeah, my player two get up. There you go. How long till I get goofy? Player two has entered the chat. What? Kevin, how long till I get goofy? I don't know. Okay. Caffeine yeah, doesn't affect me. Huh? It's not like a drug. It doesn't well, no, I'm not. Well, technically, yes, it is, actually. Yeah, no, but caffeine it's, is it's, it's not correct. like the drugs you've taken. Correct. True. <laughs> you don't know. Well, I don't know. Agreed. I don't know. <laughs> Can we? Ambrose like throws on like his pack and just. Can we go? Ooh, Mother Goose wishes to leave. Let's grab our shit, I guess. No, Hamlet's still hot. Oh, crazy! Oh. It's still hot. Whatever the fuck it's called. You still want to go? You want to carry the pen? Hmm? Can you cool down the pen so that we can leave? Yeah, yeah. Do not. What's oh. up? Nothing. Is it gas? That is how you break it. Yeah, no, that'll that'll shatter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can, it'll cool down. There, it'll is there like just, a lake uh, nearby uh, that you can That's like not those. better. We'll be traveling for a while. It'll yeah, it'll cool down. Let uh, me just pack up everything else but that, and then we can go. Okay. You wait for the band to cool down. <laughs> and then you all pack up and start heading out. Do you know what direction you're going in? Uh, I believe we were continuing north. Yeah. Until we got through the forest, and then we were gonna start going yeah, east. Yeah, we're trying towards. to avoid people. Is our primary yeah. goal? So right you're okay. You're going north and then east through the forest, avoiding any sort of settlements and stuff like that, yeah. right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because danger seems to follow us. Wonderful. Just as just I. Had it. <laughs> um, Boring. Our people have already decided. So anyway, uh. At any point when you're all hungry, let me just know and I can make food. I mean, I also have food and I just really don't want it to go bad. We can save those. Save them? They... Huh? Do they like I'm sorry, do you want? Do you want the meat to go bad? You could keep keeping it cold. Yeah, I'm keeping it cold. <laughs> keeping it cold. Cool. And then my, uh, my rations, barring the cow, are all 
dried and going to last seven years approximately. Can we call it by like its species name? Because I keep thinking you're saying my name and that's fucking me up. You know what a cow species name is? I don't, but I figured you would, Mr. Nature Man. That's science and scientific um, and school scholarly. Scholar. See what I mean? Okay. Well, Fair enough. We'll okay. just we'll just call you Mickey. No, That's you so. will no, not. Hey, no, I'll do it. I'll do it by calling him Mickey. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. I will That's fucking cool. break you. <laughs> I'll watch. Yes. Mm. What? I'll watch. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Mickey. Didn't know you were in the bed. No. Uh, no. You're saying I'm not gonna heal. I should have just said that. Listen. This is the worst group. How do you do that to me? I hate you so much. We say this every day. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Keep going, I guess. Okay. My finger is joking. Do we even know what we're doing anymore? We got MacGuffins to collect. We're going north. Well, yeah, I know we're going north. Small We're going to Vesalia. And just yep. In the small town nearby it. Do yeah, we know if that's like defined in a second? Well, better get there before one of Amberster's guys get there. God, I hope so. I have a sneaking suspicion this will not be the last thing we do. Yeah. Unless we like die, no. but which well, I don't plan on it. I'm assuming so. that we're all walking while we're bickering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Why? 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 What? Why would you have to go and bring death and pain? Because I'm being realistic about our chances here. I mean, we're a bunch of fucking regular Joes, except for fucking you, apparently. Yeah, I don't know what your deal is. And we're just, you've got like, what, five regular Joes, so that's like a fuck ton of them. We're all a bunch of regular Joes going to Ocelia to make sure that the wall doesn't get broken. And then the red mire doesn't seep out and madness doesn't corrupt the entirety of Skaten. And you want, I mean, I'm just, listen, I... I understand you're being realistic. Yeah. However... I don't plan on dying. I would like to continue with No. I also do not plan on dying. Yeah. So, like... That's, like, the last thing on, like, my budget. List, that honestly. was my attempt at, like, a, a macabre joke. Should I refrain? Do as you will. Huh? Do as you will. Ah, okay. <laughs> Is there anything of interest all along the way? Yeah. Shining yeah. objects. I was letting you guys talk. Um, so, as you guys uh, travel up uh, north using the main road, you would then um, come to like the border of Lothmanger and you would head into like the divide between Lothmanger and Karnaka which is or Karnaka Karnaka whatever um which is this massive forest this path leads directly through the forest but as you get to like the tree line you just head east directly off the main path into this vast lush green forest um, it is a beautiful sight with the golden god rays um, coming in from like the canopy of the trees hitting the ground. Um, you hear like uh, birds chirping, flying overhead, uh, the rush rustling of like leaves and bushes. Um, every once in a while you'll come across uh, different like wildlife like um, deer or uh, whatever the fuck else is in forest that doesn't kill you immediately. Um, bear. <laughs> bear. <laughs> Big no, bear. bear. A bear. A bird. A bear. <laughs> Birds, squirrels, yeah, all little critters and creatures. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely not a moose because they are not friendly. Yeah. Those are angry fuckers. 
Yeah. Like, I'm gonna kill you. Like, yeah. in the woods. Meeson in the woods. Um, I mean, like, fox here and there um, running around. Um, eventually, as you guys are continuing through the forest, you would come across this, like, uh, forest oasis. There's, like, a pool of water. It is beautiful, cerulean water. Um, the light shining down on it makes it, like, a beautiful, like, just pool of water. There is green moss, like, surrounding it and as you kind of like look around um you would see walking out from like the tree line three giant elk so big that like on the back there's like moss growing on them there's like vines and different like moss growing on their uh, antlers like drooping down um these things are big proud beasts they look uh, almost divine. They are so beautiful. Um, every once in a while, like a bird will come down, like on their back, and just kind of rest. One of them, like on one of their antlers, uh, there's like a bird's nest that is uh, made, and so there's like a f- uh, family of birds on the, the nest on the the antlers of the elk. Um, so all three of these elk just come over and these things are huge and they start like drinking from the water um if any of you want to you can go ahead and i'll accept a religion or a nature check nature oh, shit for me natural 20. jesus christ never mind <laughs> nature <laughs> never mind what oh, oh, no. let's go <laughs> Let's fucking go. That's two natural 20s, baby. Oh, oh my religion. god. Oh my god. On a religion. Oh no. Fucking insulting. Oh no. Damn you, dice. 13. Not bad. In the middle of the road. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Dara, you're too stunned by the beauty of these creatures <laughs> so <pretty>. to <laughs> formulate any thoughts whatsoever. <laughs> 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 You two. Yes. Um, Macau, you might have heard stories of the giant elk in the woods. These are creatures of fame. And it is said that, like, giant elks are um, an actual, like, divine creature of fame. Like, these are um one of the purest forms of his like creation fane god of wildlife um you would know that um fane had the power to create life much like tigalm um but his purpose was to work to create the beasts of this world to uh, give different environments uh, different forms of life that were not humanoid that would give it like a sustainable like ecosystem um, however later on in the development of this world uh, Tagalm got jealous of Fane because more of the gods were coming to Fane to ask how to create life rather than Tagalm uh, Tagalm being this the more proudful uh, prideful of the gods um, they would go to Fane because he was more humble and accepting and open minded to things um, whereas Tagalm only wanted to create you know humanoid mortals that were full of intelligence um, so before Fane's power was taken away by Tagalm uh, he had created um, different creatures that were um, like his final creations. And his final creations were these um, beautiful, divine-like creatures that um, showed... Uh, were... were um, lost for words they are able to show off the like climax of fane's power before right before it was taken away so these creatures are almost endangered in a way like they don't really like reproduce and they're very rare creatures and when um like all hunting of like these creatures are like prohibited like most people would know not to hunt these creatures if you do you're just 
labeled There's a stuff. poacher. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, in a black market, it would not be uncommon to see, like, the skull, the ivory, the meat, or the leather of, He's like, the these, thing. yeah, of these creatures. Um, most creatures like these are known to be either neutral or good aligned creatures. Um, the more evil ones would have been either corrupted by a dystopian god or would have been created by Fane to create balance. Um, but these elk in front of you, um, like Macau, you would have read, or Ornan, you might have seen creatures similar to these, and you would know, like in uh, Igis and in your different tribes, um, you would know, like, the rules of, like, uh, nature, which is, like, you cannot hunt these types of creatures, um, as they are, like, directly related to Fane and the last of his creations before his power is taken away. Um, again, like Macau, you probably would have read this in a book. Mm -hmm. um, or had it read to me mm -hmm. when I could. So, before you, that is what you see. These, the last creations of Fane. Three of them, right before you. Because there, there are other things, last creations, right before you just like I'm fucking mad at you. Dara, I literally gave you my fucking copy of this room. Those are sacred. Those are sacred. I fucking hate you. like looks up and just oh and in a strange way like um you know how an animal will like like dip its head down and yeah. back up um it does that towards you but then as it like looks back up it just looks directly at you and you get this feeling like it almost like bowed to you and like acknowledged that you're there Join me. Join me. <laughs> become a druid. <laughs> Macau, become druid. <laughs> okay. So, you guys continue through this beautiful forest for miles. Um, as you continue on, you would approach a very rapid river. You can hear it from quite a distance, but as you get closer, it gets louder and louder and louder until you finally approach it. It is just these white rapids. Just <laughs> there are large rocks in the way, falling over trees. Um, it is a beautiful sight, but you can't get across. If you step foot in that water, you are God's washed away. So, as you are, like, looking and trying to decide, like, what else to do now, um, make a perception check for me. Mm. Well, uh, what, what kind of check? I'm so sorry. Perception. perception. jokes on me when I'm like rolling them for shits and giggles and then when they have hey. another nat 20. Hey yo. 22. Hmm? I used up all the money. Hey. Apparently. So. I, I, I can't. Sorry. Rolls again. Five. Five. Fifteen. Fifteen. 
Financial 20. Okay, so you three, um, as you're all looking around, Mirage, you were just kind of like enamored by this river. You are not really knowing what to do. That's a big bitch. <laughs> you see like you see like fish trying to jump up river. And you're just like, wow, okay, cool. Um, you three, on the other hand, as you're trying to figure out like how you could either cross or find a way around, um, you would look over to your right and you would see uh, a very strange looking creature, one that I don't think any, meh, you might've seen this creature before purely because you've been in efflorescence. This creature would not exist in Anamnesis, Glattenboro, or Igis. Um, this thing is completely made out of stone. It is unlike the stone forge because this thing has like two, I guess like hind legs, almost like the back legs of a dog, how they're kind of like curved or angled. Um, think of, this is the best way to describe this. For an example, think of the body of an ostrich, right? But it's completely made out of stones that are stacked one on top of each other the entire thing. So it has this kind of like large, kind of like oval, like torso, a long neck made of all these like flat stones that are stacked up until it gets to like its head where it's almost like a disc or like a saucer shape. And then its legs kind of curve down and angle like a dog's back legs. And you see that off to your right, just coming out of the forest. And this thing is Ooh, say around seven, eight feet tall. Um, it's pretty bulky. Um, and as it begins to like walk, you see two smaller creatures of the same thing kind of like hop uh, around its legs. And it doesn't even acknowledge you. It just walks up to the river and it starts making this like warbling noise. Like whoa, 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 whoa. And stones start to just and so it hops on one hops on the other and it crosses the river these things are not like steps apart they are jumps and so as it gets across the river it turns around and every time it moves it's it's like the sliding of like the grinding of rods um and it like lifts its head and like kind of like lurches a little bit as it makes that like warbling noise, but it's a different one, almost like it's calling. And these two smaller ones uh, make the same noise and they're almost kind of like chirping warbling noises. Um, and they hop on the stones and they make like other little stones around them to like hop and make it across. After that, it just turns and keeps walking into the forest. You may have seen one of these before. Uh, to recall it, go ahead and make a history check. For the record, this hadn't heard of it. Um, if anyone else wants to try to know what it is, I, I will I will I'm accept good. a history check. I will with, with being by this. You said okay. that they weren't Igis, so I'm not gonna. Mm -hmm. Have I read this in a child's book? Because I haven't, I haven't been to Ephorescent. Have I been to Ephorescent? Ephorescent? Nine. Nah. Briefly, yes. Nah, Matt would not do it. I have been to Ephorescent briefly, so I yeah, could... Was, yeah, to be briefly. Like, and you I, didn't I, You didn't go deep south into Ephorescent. Yeah, we went into Lundbeer, which is north. Yeah. And then popped back out. Yeah, with your... With how so you traveled... Better. You might have seen them. So what was your role? 14. I'll give it to you. Um, you may have encountered this crossing over uh, Heaven's Vale, which is that like mountain range near Lundmere. Yeah. Um, these things are called skeps. S-K-E-P-S. -E skeps. These are two-legged stone creatures that um, usually are wandering around Nyarlathel. That's where these things are the most common. Um, and they travel around in like small herds or families. Um, and these things do have the like ability to like call upon the aid of like stone or rock, just stones and rocks, like that's it. Um, 
but they're also purely made out of stones. You don't see any eyes, you don't see any any organs, yeah. nothing. They're just purely Rock. stacked stones on top of each other that are animated and can move. That's as far as you're right aware. As fuck. Huh. Actually, that's right as fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's super mm -hmm. fun. That's cool. So with seeing that, mm -hmm. you now have a choice. You can try using that stepping stone bridge that it made, or you can try going around. Going around will take longer, but it'll be safer. Going across could prove risky, but it could save you a, a lot of time. Um, I had 350 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> man. Absolutely fucking not happening. Wait, I am not a leaf wait, on the wind. <laughs> Make an arcana check. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> you see, you see pebbles right beneath you start to like shift and rumble, and you like lean in, trying to like thinking you're doing something, and all of a sudden, like this small crab just. Ah! Can I? It's in a crab, leave it alone. Can I Jumps off into the water. Whoosh. Whoa. Can I, I would like to I go over it. to Macau and I would like to try the exact same thing that he did. Shh, make an arcana check, sure. Did I just kill the crab? Wait. You did not. Can, I did! Can we just no. go swim? Macau! What? Let's try it together. The wolf. What? <laughs> sure, go for it. What? <laughs> I believe in you. It's a comically high number. Twelve. <laughs> yeah, both of you go down and you see uh, a much larger like stone, like uh, some, like fist size, like move and it just starts rolling. I, I go deep. <laughs> it keeps rolling and rolling and rolling until all of a sudden the rock kind of like shifts up and you see uh, a hermit crab leg just yep. and it just turns around and just <laughs> and gets swept away in the river. We just killed another one. <laughs> it's not dead. Yeah. Can, can so someone in the magical he inclined come over and get, please? Unless you have You've got to be fucking ideas. stupid. Do you have any other bright ideas? I don't think I could whoa, 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 magically. Okay. Yeah, I, I, just, I am not. Okay, uh, I believe in you. Any I am naturally inclined, but not that. Okay. Hey, you, you, you showed me someone who wears light last yeah. night. Yeah. <sighs> That's not the same. Yeah. You, you could I, yeah, but she's not a stone lady. She's a flesh and blood lady. I know. But like, if you I want to cross, you can hop across it. We can cut down a fucking tree and make a bridge. We are surrounded by those. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna walk away and I'm gonna start chopping at the I'm sorry, hey, I was distracted by how fucking weird that was. Cool. Yeah. Anyone in the it group who weird. either punch holes in the tree or cut one down? I'm on, I'm on my way to cut down a tree. If only we could find big strong guys who could knock down some trees. And... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna oh. look. Learn skater and then you find something. Take a seat there, no bros. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> don't worry, we got this. And Ooh, don't worry. We are travelers. A big strong man. Yeah. A big strong man in the trunk. Go get him, boys. I'm gonna get the other side of the tree. Slightly I'm sorry, but when I think of big it. strong man, I think of the fucking bear of a druid that we have. Yeah, but I don't want to make him cut. Okay, the but tree. what about me? I'm. Well, you, well, yeah, but you're like a different big and strong. You're like more toned than you are like big. Okay, what am I? I'm you're playing. dexterous I big. <laughs> Derek will be the bridge. Hold on, I have an idea. <laughs> 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 you use my couch Elongate arms. <laughs> Hold on, I have an idea. Holding. Roots grab his Holding. legs. The couch ball yeah. as tree. Holy shit. As tree. Mm. Beavers. Yeah. They cut down trees really fucking fast. They really do. I'll be a big Guess who can wild shape? <laughs> <laughs> Beaver time! We're all 
already on our way. We're already chopping. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there and just start gnawing on a fucking. Yeah, so. I gotta make sure that I can actually be a beaver. Challenge one for. Oh, it's a giant beaver. That's even faster, buddies. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Good news, I can be challenge one. So, yeah, I turned into a giant beaver. Awesome. (laughs) That's the funniest thing I could have ever done. Channeling your life energy uh, from Bloom, you morph into a beaver. Uh, That flower kind of like sticking out of somewhere on your body. Um, And you're able to to go ahead and make a strength check. Beaver stat. Damn. That's better than my sense. I'll give you advantage as well to chop down tree because that's what they do. Uh Uh-oh. Uh, on top of that, because uh, you may want to re- retract that, Wood Eater is a special feature. Oh. Uh, I do double damage to creatures, objects, and structures made of wood. Oh, okay, great. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, no. Go ahead and make an attack. Go ahead and make an attack. Yeah, so... Uh, Rip and tear. Uh, making an attack. That was a 14 on my initial roll, not including the advantage then. That's a 19 hit. 19 definitely hits. I'm trying to look for it. They usually have it on I don't here. Know what the tough tree damage is. Uh, well, usually they have a thing where it's like if it's uh, oh right here armor, yeah object armor class, yeah wood is 15, so that definitely passes. Cool. Um, you need me to roll damage. Uh, yes, and yeah. you guys need to roll an attack too, and then roll damage if you hit. Oh. DC is 15. Double. Oh. 15. 18 damage. 18 hits. That's double. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven damage. Okay. Oh, wait, I can attack once. Oh, so can I. 16. Well, what was your first roll? Oh, that was an 11 plus 7. Okay. The next one was an 8 plus 7. Are you, you, what are you using? My hand axe. Okay. 17 total damage. I'm punching it so that there's like a dent so that when it falls it'll tilt that specific direction okay and then i will promptly move the fuck out of the way <laughs> well it doesn't fall yet with just I you know. i'm just when it does i will move out of the way 15 points of damage okay so 22 for you are you all attacking the same tree no yes. <laughs> no for a different tree Okay, good. Um, We're trying to beat the beaver. So, (laughs) you guys are a little more than halfway. Dara, you are halfway. So, go ahead and roll again. You got this, does take a little bit of time. This is not like six six second intervals, by the way. That's the first one. I definitely hit the second one. The worst beaver ever. Oh, no. The second one. I'm giving you advantage on these attacks because. Oh, no. <laughs> we need to get you some blessed dice here, buddy boy. That's a nine total? <laughs> you are trying to chomp through the wood, but you're getting tired. It's a little bit difficult with you being in a beaver body. You're not used to it. It's new. Yeah, this is yeah. I did nine damage. Beaver. Nine damage, okay. Yeah. Plus seven. The nine. Sure, okay. Yeah, you guys are hacking at this thing and punching it. It's a thick tree. You have a little bit more ways to go, but you're nearly there. You can go ahead and roll an attack again. That's a 17. I succeed both. Passes. Well, it's a 10 11 on the dice, by the way. 16 damage. Okay, yeah. Nine damage from me. Mm hmm. 16 for mine. Sure, yeah, okay. So we'll say you guys are going at this for like maybe an hour because it's, oh, a, it's a thick tree. It takes a while. With both of you, though. <laughs> <laughs> slams right on top of the river going across. Now it does get a little bit thinner on the very end of it. However, um, it does collapse on the river and now water is like, like stops and then starts rushing over. But you do now have a path across. So Dara, you got one more to go. Okay. I thought you if were you upset hit. at me. Huh? I said, I thought you were right. upset at oh, wait. me. Wait, okay. I thought that was a bunch of three. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Hell yeah. Beaver boy. Uh, same damage as last time, so... Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so... Other tree collapses. You want it to be beside the other tree, or are you trying to make it like two separate bridges? Yeah, I was trying to make it beside. Yeah, okay, so perfect. It falls right beside the other tree. You now have two trees making a pretty sturdy bridge 
across this raging river. Uh, the middle part is a bit wet with the water kind of like sloshing on top of it. However, you did just cut it down. There's still like bark on this and everything. So there's pretty good grip. So you guys now have a bridge if you're wanting to cross. I would like to put the cross on all fours. I dig my little claws in. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Like Go Four ahead cats. and uh, you can do an acrobatics or athletics. I will take acrobatics. There you go. I give yourself advantage. I would also like to cross. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen definitely works. You. you not that. <laughs> and crawl your way across, and you make it to the other side. Easy peasy. Tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Helping me balance. <laughs> All right. Join me. I'm you have it for anyone crossing this bridge. You have advantage on crossing. And what is the look? Uh, athletics or acrobatics? Can I give fifteen monastic inspiration? Monastic no, inspiration. We're good. Okay. I'm a beaver. You are I have good. a higher dex. There you Wait, go. 15? Significantly huh? higher. Fifteen. Fifteen's good enough to get across. I don't know. If anyone fails, I'm gonna attempt to last with them. It, it's all good. I don't know. I'm nat twenty apparently. Oh, it's like on crossing bridge. Let's fucking go. Mirage. Fourteen. Give I me, did give, say. If, give me a second. Give me a second. If anyone, second. like, so of all, I'm prepared to lasso them to, like, grab them. I am Beaver. <laughs> that gave the same I'm energy I'm of you, you are on a horse. horse. I'm Beaver. You are on a horse. <laughs> I would like okay. to yell out. Uh, you are so, horse. what is your. Uh, what was your role? 23 to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, easy Beaver. for you to get across. Beaver um, boy. <laughs> Sweep. Roll me just a d20. Oh, I think you're You're going away. Down the river? <laughs> no, no. That, that depends. <laughs> that depends. No! Come on, man. Come on. Six. I don't know if that's good or bad. In total? What, what am I adding? You, you just said roll a d20. Oh, that's right. That's all right. Sorry. Ambrose rolled a nine. So <gasps> as you guys are walking across, um, both like you and Ambrose, like in tandem are walking across, um, as you get like towards the edge where the tree gets like thinner, um, that water starts to like pool up on the trees and starts like racing over and it hits your like ankles, your foot and you lose balance at the very end and you fall off and <laughs> grab onto the tree. You are now held onto this tree with this water underneath you just like rushing. <laughs> <laughs> so you have that lasso ready to go. So um, I would like to attempt you to have the crab. <laughs> Too. That was good. That's the cold opening. That's yeah. a rest sweeper. Sweep. <laughs> That's the rest sweeper. Sweep. That's um, the rest sweeper. The crab. Rest sweeper. <laughs> okay. So, go ahead and make an attack roll. Oh. Gordon. Yeah, it's your point. Oh no! I wore high heels on a bridge like a dumbass. <laughs> Why would you wear high heels? That's all I got. Why? Yeah, God. easy. <laughs> You lasso Mirage, and then with Ambrose's help, no, you're- No! 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 Choking! Not breathing! Don't pull me! Andrew, I'm not letting go! <laughs> like no! I would never I let you go, please! <laughs> so, with Ambrose's help as well, uh, you're able to lift Mirage back up, and you safely get across the raging river. Thank Good job, guys. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. Are you are you okay? Are you are oh you hurt? Are you oh, okay? Thank you so much. Your thigh literally just dried last night and now yeah. you're soaking wet. Right? I'm so it's okay, bad. you got the extra out. Yeah. Right? That's how that works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll be okay. <sighs> You'd have to wash it again so oh, anyway, to make sure that the dye it does, you don't get stained your Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll turn around. <laughs> <laughs> That's not why I was okay. okay. Sorry. Ornan. Ornan, turn around. 
And I'm sure that Darren like, doesn't give a fuck because he's a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> and the cruel irony of the fact that... Why? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm... That's what you did to him! I, well, I did. did. This is me. That was entirely that one. Yeah. Yeah. It was the intrusive thought. I'm sorry. Jesus. But none of those thoughts it was the Ambrose thing. just like looks and is like, do you need help with no, anything? Um, I don't know if he can make his clothes dryer. I, yeah, I'll find a way. It just helps you we're like both just like de- We're both sitting on a corner next to a tree. Here, I got some spares and just like throws like spare clothes at you, which is just, like regular yeah. common traveling clothes, yeah. like white linen shirt. Yeah, perfect. I, uh, it's like very similar to my common clothes, thankfully. It's mm. just, just a white collared button up shirt, mm. slacks. Yeah. My corset. All right, okay. boys. Boys. You can look now, it's fine. You see Ambrose like getting like little pins to like hang dry Mirage's clothes. <sighs> Uh, can you can you bad, can you yeah. gust it? I'm so fucking slow. And I, I could probably gust of wind, just yeah. <laughs> and just blow dry it. <laughs> yep. There Eat you go. some of the dragon spice and then blow into it. Yeah. It's like a blow dryer, <laughs> and it just dries it off and eats it. <laughs> that would actually. Hey, I love magic. <laughs> it dries off in record time. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I'm such a klutz. Okay. We oh, made it hey, across. you're fine. Honestly, I I barely made it. Thank you for the save. I I kinda have a feeling that's why they keep the lasso on the hip at this point, because honestly it's come in handy quite a few times. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, cool. I just yeah. This entire time I've just been gnawing on another tree. <laughs> Dera. I think he's gonna stay in that hey, form. Dera. Hey, beaver boy! I, I go pick him up. You he's can't. a giant beaver! Giant. giant! I'm pretty sure he's like medium or large. Medium, I, yeah. He's I, the size I, of a human. Oh, I want, I want to pick him up. Oh my. Just for shits and goo. Sure. Uh, yes. Grapple check. It is feasible. It is. Uh, he moved a cow. Yeah. You let him move a cow. Oh, that was a 23. Of course I was going to let him. He dragged a cow with rope. <laughs> it still counts as moving a cow. <laughs> Not good. It's worse. No, it's the exact same as a 23. Yeah. And I'm lighter than a cow. Okay. By like half. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as he's like gnawing on a tree, you just like pick him up. Like... Uh, we're ready to go. You, uh... You need to stop gnawing at the tree. You like being a beaver? That's where he's from. I'm just like, <laughs> carrying the... Macau, do you I've want to pet a giant beaver? I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, no, it's <laughs> that feels weird. I just grab off For a context. piece of bark and just start moving and be like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> a strange <laughs> twist of fate for those unaware. My stepdad was bit by a beaver for doing exactly what he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It feels right. weird to pet the, the beaver knowing it's, it's Dera. Like, it's no, like it's, it's Dera. I don't want to pet Dera. That's weird. It's like a little, like, hippie. So you've got him like over See, your shoulder. That was weird. Point, right? That was weird what you just did. Don't like it. I don't like being Warning. Weird. You've got the beaver like over your shoulder at this point, right? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to turn back now. <laughs> my arm, tell her, tell her my arm, please! I was fucking worth it. Please! Oh, I'm gonna get up now. God! Thank you for Damn. Yeah. That made the... Oh. It felt good. Yeah. Felt good for me. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're such... So. You're such an ass! I picked up a beaver. What did you expect? I could do that. I I would... Onward, yeah. I oh, onward. Onward. I think my shoulder would be so cute. Oh, that sounds like a person. I'm just gonna like a ray across your shoulder, just like very lightly. Just <laughs> like t- <laughs> yeah. I love how you are like Im- implementing <laughs> modern day like medicine into magic. It is beautiful. So <laughs> I mean, icing things has been around forever. I mean, I know that, but it's <laughs> like magic. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I can't cast You're that. You're just a bitch. I can do Ray of Frost. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're 300 and what pounds? As a human, yeah. Many. Yeah, the Many. people was lighter. Yeah. You ass. Yeah. Fuck you. We are burning daylight. Yeah, let's get going. Yeah. Before the world never been a beaver before. Yeah. It was fucking weird. Let's get shaven before the wall weird. breaks. Yeah. All right, so you guys continue uh, through this forest at some point. Um, I think during the day you would actually exit the forest. Let me check, see. Because you can move 24 miles in a day, so you'd be 12 miles. Oh, you see, you got a little bit of forest left. So it would be um, evening time at this point uh, where you come across like a... Uh, in this area, a very steep, um, almost like small mountain. There's a, a very steep hill that you have to like um, go across in order to continue going through the Rifflands. You've exited the forest now, so you're back in like those Scottish Highlands type of area. But before you is this <laughs> mountainous terrain. It is very steep. There are rocks everywhere. It looks like one false step could lead to just rocks crumbling down. Amazing, why do we take this forever? I thought it would be the fastest one. It's a straight shot. <sighs> we, we did get off the main path. Did we do that? Yeah. Wrong game, climbing gear. Yeah, wrong huh. universe. Um, there's two of those that have existed, technically. And this is not one of them. Well, so uh, it's evening. Do we want to go early we slumbies, or do we want to climb first? Early, so I'm not feeling the most uh, dexterous at this you know, hour. Like yeah, I think I need that. Yeah, same. I need to regain my footing. Really? I guess sleep time. Wearing heels was a bad move. Mm-hmm. Do, you, rich. You want me to, do you want me to cook up some cow? Oh, yeah. For, 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 oh, do yeah. you want cow? Round two? Hey, there, I don't do you know. Want cow? I don't know what size shoe you are, but I. Ambrose, do you still have those shoes that I borrowed that I ended up not. When we were in Lothmanger and I was trying to disguise myself, we the, the, the hair dye and everything. And I had shoes on to hide. I put my pant leg down, put shoes on so people couldn't see my leg. And I took them off in the room and then you picked them up and said I was ungrateful. Nice. I don't know what shoe size you are, but they're Uh, shoes that are not heels. (sighs) I gotta like Google. Or is it the fit? Average human. It's like seven seven and a half. Here's the question How tall is Mirage? This taller than you. I can figure this out. How she's tall uh, she's five ten. She's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> unless she has, unless she's got like small feet. Yeah. Um. I mean, she doesn't have like. Yeah, but can you say she has? Yeah, she's not a average, tribalist. longer, or shorter feet. Don't you say average? Okay, yeah, then so they you probably have smaller. Yeah. I am a whole five inches shorter. Than you are, so my yep. feet are, oh. are smaller. Damn. Mm. Maybe it's just the regional. Difference. Like, I know. If I get some more materials, I can uh, try to cobble okay. some oh. shoes. It's not my strong suit, but you can make your shoes. I can try. I have some extra. Um, I got the hide. What do you think would work well on my attire? Oh. She has to be fashionable at all times. I mean, Obviously. what you're wearing is very aesthetically pleasing. It does oh, really match your character. Yeah. I don't think like slippers are really. No, I don't awesome. think so. We could just get you very stylish, like adventurer's boots, kind of like oh. mine. So they're more um, oh. utilitarian, I guess you could say. With like the inch heel, or what? Maybe heel. not. No, and no. just like more like dress shoes. Yeah, a small heel, not those boots that you have. They're very stylish. I do really like them. But I think um, for the purpose of, you know, what we have in front of us and what we kind of went across, um, a proper attire would be best. Mm. Yeah, like the heel size that like Ornan has, for example. Just like on his boots. 
Huh? I would say, oh, I mean, what kind of boots do you have? Because I feel like you have like very just, basic like, high boots. I do have yeah, yeah, they very have, basic. Like, they have like a little bit of heel yeah. lift in the back, but mm. like, not for like the support. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, something yeah. like that. But and we so can make can, it like hook shit on it. But we can make it just as tall as your boots, not the heel, but like you know the oh, boot yeah. itself. Yeah. Up the leggy. Basic. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Minimal heel. And yeah, I can, yeah. we can make it black and we can put some like laces on it too. I'm a bit of a fluffer. It's kind of my thing. Yeah. I can definitely help with that. And too. I just gave him some extra leather. Then it's not ready yet. So we can try to make some boots if you'd like. It would take some time. It would take, uh, I mean, with all of us, if we all pitch in and try to help, it wouldn't take me that long, but it would still yeah. take me a, a day or so, maybe. Leatherworking is my finish. specialty. This will not take me long. Hmm? Leatherworking is my specialty. It's what I grew up doing. Well, yes, but you still have to cobble the whole boot together and make yeah, them. I do want to pay you yes. guys all for this. <laughs> like, why are you paying? Because you guys are continuing to make me shoes. Uh, yeah, you could. Well, why, let's get started then. And Ambrose, like. Literally, why would you pay us? <laughs> you pay us? <laughs> the money Isn't that we earn is. T- yeah. We are working together. Just... We're helping you. This is what this we do. This is literally so you don't die, which I don't think we need to be compensated for. Fair. Yeah, because you die would honestly cause us a lot more grief. You guys owe me a lot of fucking money. Because yeah. honestly, you dying would cause us a lot more grief than like you paying. Us. And so you, I'm like, honestly, you've the already loss died of once, so let's not. Would be better than losing you as a person. I'm just yeah. stating a fact. Yes. I'm stating a fact. He. Oh oh, fair enough. <laughs> Hey, are you gonna I get don't on him? With this argument. What? Are you going to get on him? I Why? You got on me for making a macabre joke, and he just I, made I missed what he said. It said wasn't a joke. Said you've already died once, so let's avoid that. Exactly. Hey, so there's no was, reason yeah, for that compensation. Was hey, thank you. Thank it you. Hey, we we death bonded. Fuck you. Death bonded. You're so mean to me. I'm not being. I stated a fact. You were the one who got on my ass. Can you guys just shut up and make a pair of shoes? Let's I, make some fucking I moves. already have my things rolled out. You're the one ar- everyone's arguing. Why are we all arguing? Here. We're just you, trying to help. What do you think? Legit have leather in my bag. Thank you, Dara. It's and cool. Ambrose starts like, just like let me know when you need my help. punching holes and like uh gathering all the materials together to start like making this boot. So whoever wants to help Ambrose can <laughs> yeah. Shh. Yeah. I have proficiency. Oh, yeah. I oh, no. hate what I just witnessed. What? I'm a monkey. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, you just to uh, yeah. collect. <laughs> Listen. He's really gross. Our ancestors' ancestors were apes, Stop. okay? Yeah. And then, you gotta go further than that. Well, yeah. Our ancestors x hey, a thousand. ancestors can mean anything. As far back as you want. Our <laughs> primitive ancestors... <laughs> Use their hands and feet to manipulate objects around them, and so do I. Okay. I'm incapable. We're not good at it though, so stop. Exactly, but I. You still can. I am. We're you still can. To get rid of that toe shop. I'm incapable. <laughs> can, well, what are we rolling? I'm looking it up. You shit! Give me a fucking moment. Can we, <sighs> all, can we just all start at the camera really quick and just... Why? Why? Oh That's my god. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> okay, for... You have to roll on your tools. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a d20 plus proficiency for you. <laughs> Ambrose has to make a dexterity check with proficiency. Wonderful, thank you. I, you know what? I'm not using that dice. Yeah. Not great. Oh, there and we go. Help, I'm so glad I didn't use that dice. Oh, and by help, I mean I don't know. So I just go over shoulder, get like a little too close to his ear, and just go. <laughs> he like stops and he'll like look at you and just like glare at you, but then you see like his eyes soften and goes. That's the clarity I needed. Thank you. And he goes back to his work. He just needed a brief moment to kind of stop what he was doing and think things through. And that distraction helped him. Uh, he ruled a natural 20 on that one, so. Yeah, bitch, let's go. 13 total. Very good, okay. So 
you guys would successfully be able to make at least one boot. <laughs> like you have, yeah, there, it takes a while yeah. to make, but, and with Ambrose being the slight perfectionist that he is, um, not only tries to like dye the boot and get the laces together, tries to like make the laces perfect. Um, and gets like all the, the holes aligned and everything for the laces. Um, but with your help as well, you're able to fully make one boot and start making the other one. So, um, by the next day, you can have a pair of boots, uh, finished for Mirage. Bar that you successfully roll. So, yeah. Okay. So you guys stopping for the night or, or the yes. evening, or are you trying to try to surpass this new we are stopping. test of strength? Stop for Eve. Okay, very good. You guys set up camp. Uh, stop for Eve. Stop Make for sure Eve. Wow. Ha, ha, ha. I need to be shot. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I can't stop it. It's just, I keep, it's just, all right. Okay, so you guys set up camp. You spend another uh, day's ration of the meat that you have collected. Is there anything you guys want to do while you are camping tonight? Doing watch. I'll do watch. Do watch? Okay. Do I still have like time for a downtime activity? No. Yeah, it's the evening. Okay, cool. Ooh. Wonderful. Watch. What is it? Watch. I have to make sure I don't grab another one. The same one. Watch. Watch me. This is a new one. I did it to me. Love rocks. Yeah. Why? Rocks! For what reason? You are so weird. Yeah, I'm hot as fuck right now. I mean, you are. The toast. It's because I don't want to take my hoodie off because it's like really comfortable, but like I'm hot, yeah. and so I can't. I'm in a weird. State of being right now. Yeah. It's I guess. Uh, fucking hot. Yeah. Really bad. <laughs> Through its house. So, I don't want to like mess with my legs. I don't want to mess with those. I don't understand. I don't think we should pick at it anymore. Yeah, it's like, like ah, wanna... it's like a scab. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to tinker with it. I just want to like look and understand. Yeah. Like the Pierce. stuff I've already looked at, I want to try to understand it better. I do feel like we. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to use this one? Oh. I'm still. Question, are any of them bad? Yes. You don't know. Why would I why would I just tell you? <laughs> likely, yes. Safe assumption. Probably. Most likely. <laughs> How do you want to use this one? Monsieur. Bad berries. Bad berries. It's a very bad berry. <laughs> Dust. Okay. Uh, Dust. Uh, Wonderful. Uh oh. <laughs> there blows up the entire mountain. Since you don't know what this does, you raise out your hand, you look at it, it glows blue as you channel your energy into this rune, and all of a sudden, this rune gets really small and smaller and smaller in the palm of your hand. Oh, and no. you look around oh, no. and everyone looks up to no! you as you has just <laughs> cast enlarge on yourself. <laughs> and you uh, are this giant man. Oh. You just see Dara just. Oh. This is oddly on theme with everything. Yeah. A Dara-sized shadow boy. is casted upon you. Yeah, no, big boy. You hear like branches snapping as he like <laughs> grows into the tree above him. It's the big boy. Hello. 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 You are big. How yeah. is the weather? Why? <laughs> what can you see? What do your tiefling eyes see? Hey, I just asked what you can see. You don't have to make a fucking reference to something that's not in this universe and be a dick about it. They're taking the sinners to Asalia. <laughs> They're taking the tank to Asalia. <laughs> you wanna know what I see? Yeah. More yeah. trees. 
and mountain. <laughs> All right. Well, wow. What do you expect? I'm not that tall. All right. Whatever. How long does this last? Big boy. How one, long am I big? Lasts for one round. You're big for six seconds. Okay. <laughs> you are strong. Oh, does rolling like that hurt? No. No. Oh. No. You're not gonna break the piece. It just. I was expecting it to be worse than it was. Huh. All right. Well. Nice. Uh, with downtime before bed, I will take out the little notebook that Ambrose had been using, and I'll kind of like leaf through some of the shit that he wrote. <laughs> um, which, and then eventually, like once I've gone through it or whatever, I will take out like a little little writing utensil, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll just start like writing some stuff in there. I'm gonna work on it every once in a while, but I, I start writing a little thing in there. Um, was there anything dicky in there that he wrote, or was he actually ever writing anything? Is this like his personal like journal? It was the one that he would take out whenever I was having a fucking toot and he would write something in it while looking at me and then close it and put it away. Right. Yeah. So I'm wondering. Make an investigation check, sure. Okay. Hey, I can't read his handwriting. You cannot. It's in perfect cursive. Fuck this guy. (laughs) It's borderline doctor writing. Fuck, of course. That makes so much sense. I'll start like flipping through and then just wherever he's sitting, I just. You see an M at one point. That's it. Amazing. I like. <laughs> you can't tell if it's Mirage or Macau. Awesome. <laughs> I try to like decode it over to, I like sit for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And I'm like. Him he is and then he's like right across from you. His back has turned to you as he is mm-hmm. focused on making these boots perfect. Yeah. And I'm just mad as fuck. And then eventually I'll be like, and then I will flip to like an empty page and I'll start writing a thingy. And okay. every once in a while I will interrupt him and ask him how to spell something. And then I will go back. <laughs> <laughs> His ears will like perk up and be like, yeah. tell you how to spell it. Okay. Just, and then go back to just, <laughs> working on his boot. How do you spell lock manga? <laughs> and then, oh, okay, thank you. Uh-huh. I didn't know you could, Never mind. Did it, huh? <laughs> it keeps going, <laughs> he keeps working on his boot. Oh, you. <laughs> person writing motherfucking shoe making bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyone else want to do anything during this time? I think I'll just sit next to Ambrose and watch him craft. Okay. Yeah. He's very delicate but fast at the same time. Like his hands move with a uh, speed of a of a professional, you know, tailor who has done this for quite a while uh, but almost like he is <laughs> the worst way to say it, he's locked in <laughs> he's locked in like um he like acknowledges that you're there and like he's aware of his surroundings but he has tunnel vision at the same time on these boots just really trying to like make it to fit your style your aesthetic and like fit who you are as a person like he's really taking his time to get a, a personal mirage touch to it. Cool. Yeah. And so I have like, I'm able to recognize that and I just have like the biggest smile. <sighs> At some point he like stops and just. These were always times where I found the day to be the most peaceful, you know? It's always nice to keep your hands busy with something just... (laughs) I knew it. I fucking knew it. There's no safety. (sighs) You know, I had a lot of clients in anamnesis. I think after all this is over, I think I might go back. Maybe not Lothmanger, that kind of has a sour side to it now. Um, but maybe like Udition or Lamplight. A place like that. Hoping you have a shot of your own. That'd be nice. 
Got any names in mind? Not a one. There's been so many things going on that I haven't had no time to even think about that. But it's just... It's always something that I've just liked to do. At least what Ambrose likes to do. Everyone else kind of has their own hobby, but he was always the most... I keep saying he. This is just what I have. I'm very passionate about it. No one else is that passionate about their craft or their hobby, their work. Kaon, maybe, but that's a different story. He, uh... I don't know if passionate about killing people is really a thing or a good thing. It's definitely not a good thing. Yeah. But this, he kind of like puts the boots down and like looks at it from just like a slight distance. This is good. Yeah, I can make something. I'm not destroying anything. I'm putting it together myself. This is my our creation. And it's going to a good use too. It can actually be utilized. You can wear it around everywhere. It's a beautiful gift you have, Hemros. Thank you. Right. You gotta know your clients inside and out. It makes you aware. <laughs> And I've been around you guys so long that I feel like I could, I could make anything for you and I feel like it would come out perfect. I mean, it's boasting my own ability, but. It's a way to connect with other people. Yeah. One of my good friends is also a regular client of mine. I haven't seen her in a while. I hope she's doing okay. Anyways, he picks up the boot and starts, like, going back at it. <laughs> Want a drag? In a little bit. Yeah. Thank you, though. And Ambrose keeps working on the boots until the sun will go down. I continue to interrupt him to ask how things are spelled. <laughs> You'll like ask him and it takes him like a good minute sometimes before he like oh, stops yeah, what he's yeah. doing and then like stands up, I turns around, or like not stands so up, but like looks around and <laughs> tells you how to spell whatever you're trying to spell. You just, it's literally like, obviously the book is small, but it's essentially just, hey, Ambrose, how do you spell? And then I just wait and, I, and I'm waiting until he turns around. <laughs> good stuff. Good All stuff. All right. Good shit. So, watches. Yeah, you wanted to do a watch. You said you would do a watch. Would you like or me? We'll do it. Okay. Oh, I can do it slowly. Yeah. Leg out. <laughs> um, did someone say they were taking first watch? Because if not, Ambrose would take first watch. Oh, I can take first watch. Okay. It's bink, black bink, or bink, black bink. I'll take watch. <laughs> bink, black bink. <laughs> All right, second it is. Seven. Go? Okay. And starting from the bottom. Jesus, the stop. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the caffeine never kicked in. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot. No, it's, that's now before he goes to bed. He's trying to run. He's like, how was when he was cutting down the tree? <laughs> <laughs> Aggressively. That is a, uh, that's a 19 for me, Chief. For perception. Okay, sorry. 19? Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Sun begins to wane, and again, stars are out. Um, now you're hearing a lot more ambient noise coming from the forest. Okay. Very good. So, again, you're hearing a lot of noises coming from the forest. Every once in a while, rocks will like tumble down. You just hear. Um, but other than that, your first watch goes peacefully. It's nice. Nothing really happens. 
Second watch. No. Arash. Oh, it's my time. All right. Yes, come on. I like kind of like kindly like slap like the side of your cheek. I'm like, come on, you got it. All right, all right, all right. Catch a beauty sleep, buddy. Get. Okay. Oh, no. Jesus. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Uh. Eight? Eight. Oh, yeah. Four plus four because you ate. Yeah. So, as you are taking your watch and you're hearing the noises, it's very soothing, very similar to the Sectune Swamp in which your home lay. When your windows were open on those warm summer nights, it would be humid, a little bit. The air almost felt sticky in a way, but what always lulled you to sleep were the sounds of the forest and as you're like almost nodding off you kind of like look up into the tree line behind you and just you look a little bit harder and you swear you see something looking back at you white glowing eyes pierce from the darkness of the tree line just staring at you you blink it's not there anymore now you're a little bit frightened and that allows you to stay awake for the entire time of your watch. Oh! What was that? What the <laughs> fuck was that? The best part is it could have been nothing. Yeah, could have just been like a Sweet. fucking deprivation. Oh, it's a wrong. bitch. Yeah. Q solo leveling statue smile. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. third watch. Yeah. Get out of here! Third watch. Oh. oh, the eyebrow raise, oh my god. Nine. We got one higher. <laughs> Stop. I used a different set. I'm just yelling at your dice. I know. In general. Stop. Twice? Twice in a row in 18 as a joke after, no. Fucking so. Quit. No. As you are woken by Eve and you are taking your third watch. Very similar to Eve, you hear the sounds of the forest and it sounds very similar to your homeland. However, every once in a while in your homeland, you would hear uh, people talking. Um, you hear like the fire crackling here and there, uh, very much village ambience. Um, and as you're looking around, in the darkness of the tree line, you see two white eyes, you swear, looking right at you. You blink, and it's gone. <laughs> Your third watch passes on without anything happening. Fucking hate that. That gave you old man, Dara. Fucking hate that. Oh, fucking hate that. <laughs> I like As soon as that happens, I just start making a fire. Like, yeah, it, it's time to make coffee. Hey, yeah, fuck that, actually. Okay. I need to wake up. Very good. Make a fire, and then as everyone's awake, as the sun waxes and golden light pours into the biosphere once again, you smell the robust uh, smell <laughs> of coffee. Aroma? Aroma, thank you. <laughs> you smell a smelly smell that smells smelly. You smell uh, coffee smells that smell like coffee. Yeah. Yep. And you are awake on the 26th of what? Praxis. Wait, six? 25th. Oh, yeah, 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 25th. I was like, what? Yeah. What do you mean an entire day vanished? Well, well, you see, <laughs> weird things happen in the Rifflands. Oh, I like get it. Oh, Greetings. Okay. Oh, Again? No. I don't know if it was either a weird dream or... Oh shit, you too. Maybe, a, oh. The, the white eye thing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Open to my eyes, already caught me. And nobody, nobody like woke us up to be like, there's a thing in the I saw it and then it vanished. Hey, that, the, and that's not fair, concerning? I honestly it was horrifying. Just that's why I made it. Thing. I just sent some rocks and that was it. 
So you heard the movement from over there. You saw no, it you was saw literally us. just rocks falling. We're literally like usually something needs to shift in order. To yeah, rocks don't just fall. fall. Hey, erosion. We're being no. stalked. Yeah, we're being stalked. By being stalked. by what though? By what? No. By what? I don't, I don't care. I honestly don't care either. I heard and saw nothing, so. Well, does it mean we're not? It's probably fine. Yeah, sure. I can't see that going wrong. Yeah, no, we're I was like, how, I was like, how good were your eyes last night? <laughs> are Apparently you sure? not very good if all they saw. Are you sure the that you were fully awake? Because I was. I would like to think I was fully awake. Well, maybe if they both what saw you it. saw was some kind of mirage. Okay. Yeah, mirage was not that Oh my god. Uh, okay. I'm sure we're about to run into whatever it is eventually. Yeah. I don't like that. We'll so, I don't either, but I also don't like this thing just haunting us. Yeah, yeah that's probably it's being idea. a pest. We can handle it. Yeah. It's whatever. We just need our coffee. Some of us need her coffee. Honestly, I'm good without coffee. Exactly. Not everybody wants it. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Really? Sorry. Okay, we, we can go. Let's continue on our uh, adventures. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm gonna mm-hmm, go. Mm-hmm. Have a long stay, Dan. I doubt so far. We should. Oh, we gotta get to that. I've been letting the crackle down ever since I start finish the coffee. Ooh, okay. Mm. So, continuing onwards. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Anybody got any fun pit stops along the way? Know anything cool? Yeah, I I haven't been over here. Before. It's a joke, I know, bro. Oh, <laughs> okay. Cool. Right. Awesome. Oh, I hear about this just beelining into this town. Yeah, I know. I thought they were being this... so genuine for no, a second. No, no. Oh, okay. We have a goal to accomplish, unfortunately. Yep. So correct. I would love to take time to just wander these woods. That makes one of us. Okay, so you guys trying to go over the mountain and continue on? Yeah. Okay. So you guys begin climbing up this steep embankment up this mountain. And as you continue climbing, it gets harder and harder. So um you guys can make athletics checks to continue climbing up athletics. or you can try to convince me with something else oh never mind i don't give a shit acrobatics, acrobatics? I'm acrobatics because i'm a dexterous fuck that's my full time okay sure acrobatics i'm bending weird <laughs> sure i roll down the mountain and i uh, a- athletics and i use my tail that's, that's what i said roll athletics or convince me <laughs> something else <laughs> yeah no uh, with a plus five modifier coming in. Eight. <laughs> so if I were to that, no, it's fine. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, nice. Rolls. Uh, uh, okay. I guess I crack this. Yeah. One of us, buddy. I could do a cool performance to make myself <laughs> so tired, but. You do a little dance at the same time. You do a little dance at the same time. Yeah. You're like one of them fucking mountain goats that just like... Yeah. <laughs> you could have done it. Right. You could have done that. Acrobooties. <laughs> Nine. Athletics. Oh, Athletics? Unless you can convince Seven. me of something. Oh, okay. Oh. Me and you. Um, same you. bow. <laughs> we're oh, we're rolling shit. down this mountain okay. again. your strength. And rolls, please. Seven, Dara. Eight. 
Uh, Ornan? 11. 17. I rolled a four! Three. <laughs> As you guys being climbing <laughs> those under a 10, um, at some oh. point you would like grab onto something or your foot would slip and you just like, Could Mirage get advantage for really good shoes? No. <laughs> you slide down the side of this mountain um, about like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet. It's not that much, but your strength is waning and it is just going to get harder as you climb up. Actually, in Macau, where you are, um, you're almost like cliff climbing this thing and you're just yeah. like Ezio parkour up yeah, the side of this. Nice. It's my um, shit. And at like one point you like one arm just like turn around and you see that your uh, partners are <laughs> struggling. Apart from Ornan, Ornan you are making your way up. Slowly but surely um, you are climbing. So Ambrose, Dara, and Mirage, you're gonna have to make uh, another check you if you want to make this up. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh, I fell a little more, I know what I'm doing. Come on Ambrose. <laughs> Come I'm on. not made for this. I know. Come on. I want a high driver. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> on that 20. Yay! Hey. Awesome. Strength, right? My bad luck. Uh, athletics. 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 11. That's good enough. It's an info. You passed a 10. Whoa. Dara and Eve, you guys catch your breath for a moment and begin resuming climbing and you're able to make your way back up to where like Macau and Oren are, which at this point you're almost, almost vertically climbing up. It's still at like an angle, but, but now you you have to like climb now. Do I know you will fall? Ambrose is continuing to climb and as he does, he grabs onto the, uh, what he thinks is a very sturdy boulder and as he does, the ground just kind of like gives out from underneath and it rolls down and you hear, <laughs> and he just, ah! Hey, whoa, 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 what happened? And he like grabs onto his arm and he begins to like lean back and he like tumbles down a bit and then grabs on and he just like holds his arm up to his chest and just, ah! <sighs> hey, hey guys. Yeah. I'm not doing too good over here. Yeah, hold on. Excuse me! Do I need, I do start. I need the lasso and just like give, give me the rope? Got it. Give it. Please, Please thank you. Go. I start climbing back down. Okay. Really gently. I get to where he's at. Uh, and I like lean up against the rock and like keep myself up with my feet. Mm. And I'm gonna tie it around my waist. Uh, and then I'm gonna tie it around his waist. Okay. He's gonna take damage from that. Okay, it's only two points, not bad. Let's see. What? Do you feel comfortable taking your glo your gloves off? Is that fine for the climbing? Uh, but the dirt know, but takes his gloves I off. Will, I will. I will personally clean your hands until no, they are you. squeaky. I'm okay? fine. Okay. Just okay. Get the better. Is your arm okay? It'll be okay. okay you can see on. where like the rock has kind of like torn some of his clothing yeah. on his arm and you can oh, see no. it's like bruised and a little like scratched. No, no, yeah. <laughs> no. no he works so hard on that. Okay, uh, I will okay. climb so a little slower and I will try to like- you, you'll, you'll go at a slower pace, but you're giving him advantage yeah, to go help up. Him. Do I have to roll again to get back That's up to where I was? That's so cocked. Uh, sure, you roll normally, he'll roll okay. with advantage because you are helping him. Good. Yeah. Even better. Okay. 23. Uh, 18 minus 117. So both of you with the help uh, combines. Nice. Yes, he is not strength. Um, you are able to climb up to where the rest of your group is. So now all of you have to roll. Um, you can roll acrobatics. Everyone else, unless pff, roll athletics. Unless. Oh, I'll take it. Giant 16. Goat. What? Giant goat. Done. I have advantage. <laughs> yes, you it's fucking do, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> he rolls with oh, thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Um, good thing you were helping him. Uh, that wow. Gives me an even higher roll on that. What is it that? How wow. Mirage use acrobatics? Wow, that hurts me physically. 
very well. <laughs> With advantage, and a plus so six, dark. 14 mine. <laughs> It makes sense for. I mean, yeah, the monk. Yeah. What's what's your what's your what's your acrobatics? Is it better? Yeah, it's plus one yeah. versus a minus one. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. then yes, you can use your acrobatics. I didn't know it was a minus one. I am. I'm flabby. Strength up here and in here. <laughs> Well, I'll say with acrobatics, you would be trying to mimic what Mikau does. You're not relying on your strength, but more your ability to go faster to not use up all your strength, I guess, yeah. if that, yeah, makes, that sense. makes a lot of sense. Because uh-huh. yeah. you're not pulling, you're yeah. like leaping, and then yeah. just you're yeah. scrabbling. I'll let, yes, we'll okay. let that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, super scrabble. <laughs> Ambrose doesn't have good Ambrose has good dexterity but he is a warlock so I'm yeah. making him use athletics yeah. 11 okay what is everyone else's score 16 okay you got a natural 20 minus 1 so that still works so what was yours 21 okay so that succeed 16 succeed 14 okay and yours was 11 <laughs> um nothing it, it is yes, because you are climbing up a near be vertical be cliff face. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be with a fourteen with the goat. You are slipping up sometimes. The fucking goat has failed me. As you are like climbing up, you are. <laughs> it's so funny to see this. Um, <laughs> what does the goat look like? Is it red? Like red haired? No, it's, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the Mars thing all over again whenever they wild shape. They just have antlers. Yeah. So, so yeah, like a no, this rug, is a fucking large, shape. not medium, large. Mm-hmm. That big fucking goat. Yeah. So as you're like hopping up every once in a while, your foot like slips and uh, rocks will crumble down. Unfortunately, yeah. your sorcerer is right beneath you and it's making it much more difficult. And as you're trying to climb, you just look up to see <laughs> rocks tumbling down and just <laughs> like patters you in the face and you like let go for a brief moment and you <laughs> down the cliff face. It is like scratching uh, your arms and your hands. So you take Look out, why couldn't you help me with the old five rocks? Why couldn't you help the Of slashing damage from the rocks as it's like cutting up your arms. Um, you like go down like 20 feet before you're able to like grab back on and stop. Okay. Um, the rest of you though would be able to make it up the mountain. Oh, are we done? Like done done with that? <laughs> yes, if you, if you succeeded the check, you can make it up. Did I succeed? I'm- Barely, okay. you made it harder for Mirage to get up. Oh no. Brilliant. What I'm so gonna glad. do is I'm gonna get to the top, look down, fuck, roll back down. Like right when we get there, I'm like, Macau, you had the fucking rope. Give me your give me a rope. You're so right. <laughs> I'm gonna go back down to where Mirage is, mm-hmm. and I'm going to tie it around her, and I'm gonna tie it around myself, and I'm gonna go to make a way up together. I mean, it proved useful. I just grabbed his arm. Ambrose's arm? Yeah. That's okay. Yes? Okay. okay. Oh, he cares. Roll athletics. Roll <laughs> athletics with advantage, because now you're tied to Ornan, so you have to roll for strength. It is plus seven. Wonderful. Your strength is a plus seven, or athletics? Yes. Okay. Yeah, his strength is an 18, I yeah. think, and then he's got proficiency. proficiency. Oh, you guys are, yeah, you're level five. <laughs> With advantage? Cool, and that's 20. There you go. Yeah. yeah, you guys, as you're yeah. like tied together, you you don't even have to like hoist Mirage up. You were you're going like together, climbing up. Um, now that you're it tied to Ornan, like you net. feel um, brave enough and just secure <laughs> enough to climb up without the worry of falling. <laughs> big strong boy to hold on. What? It's a big strong boy to keep you held on. I just feel really safe. In case she falls, mm. he's got a safe, safe strong boy. Don't, yeah, there you don't go. worry, Mr. Girl, I so. got you. <laughs> you know hey, listen, there's a lot you can come, you can accomplish with a big strong man. You guys <laughs> make it up to the top of the mountain. Better get used to climbing. Um, as you guys do, you begin to hear like slight rumbling and you can hear 
rocks like around you like begin to like move like something underneath it is moving go ahead and make perception checks for me you. Uh. Uh. Do I have to? Because both my dice. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I, I was looking correct. at Ambrose's arm. <laughs> I, I was looking at his arm. My head was somewhere else. <laughs> Wonderful. Ambrose. So was mine and Gawain's, apparently. Wonderful. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a fucking <laughs> You're minute. You're getting name flustered. I am a ghost. Yeah. Uh, 21! Yes, you are. I am a ghost. Wait, no, I still use Gawain's. We're good. I uh, don't change the answer. 21. Uh, that's a 16. Sorry. No. 11. Math. <laughs> Eleven? Eleven. Uh, six. Hello. Twenty-one. Hello. Uh, I rolled Twenty-one. one on the die. I'm looking at Ambrose's Wonderful. arm. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, as you're looking at Ambrose's arm, Ambrose looks past you. Um, Orn and you would um, notice this too. Uh, there is something bursting out of the rocks. Uh, what you would see oh. is oh. a large, like, uh, gray drake. Not dragon, drake. Four-legged, long tail, dragon-like snout, no wings, just boosh, jump out of the rocks and <laughs> land on all fours in like an attack stance and just <sighs> one like uh, flanking you guys, and then another one oh. looking at you and just. There are two on both sides of you. Or I'm one on both sides, sorry. I'm gonna look directly at Mirage. Can I try something crazy? Maybe they're just hungry. Go for it. I have an idea. I know what you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, because it just look like you're crazy. So I'm gonna take out one of like the sizes of me, just instantly cut it in half and just throw it at them. Team steak. Just to see if they're hungry. Team steak. Not a bad idea. I just let they just like, I'm not fucking dealing with it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you immediately go into action. Instead of instead of your fighting instincts kicked in, your survival instincts kicked in. And I you went, said they're fucking hungry. This okay. <laughs> This is not a place to fight. Maybe they're just hungry. Slice into that meat, Whew, both sides. Um, immediately one like looks and is just like mesmerized by this thing flying overhead and poof, poof. Okay. Scatters away. The other one. It's set. And it's looking whoever's in front of it, which would probably be Macau. As you turn around, you just see I, this thing just. Oh. I would like to make the counterpoint that I am prey. <laughs> yeah. You are a goat. You're a giant goat. You I'm are a fucking it. goat. You are a goat. Big goat. Wonderful. Yeah. It you looks at Macau, but then as it peers past all the humanoid bodies, it sees bountiful prey. <laughs> You can see immediately just its long snake-like tongue just across its face before it like whips back in and it just and it's just gonna How far away is it? Uh like 15 feet away from a cow. And it's gonna run and like bound <laughs> over. So um roll lasso. for initiative. Lasso! Yeah, I can't do shit. That's the last thing I yell at you with Lasso! You have got to be kidding me. So we'll make this a very simple battle max. I don't want to have to draw this out. Um, this will be the Drake. Ah! I am all right here. You have maybe 20 feet of space okay. on top of this mountain before it is just sure. cliff. I gotta do something really quick. I apologize. You're good. So it's the Drake, oh, so 20 nice. going. Trash. I will, I will. We would be towards the front because we're the last ones that recently got. Yeah. Up. Uh, rolls. Uh, Andrew, Mirage, Eve. Eleven. Eleven. Dara. Eight. Ornan. Eighteen. Mikau. Twelve. I will Mikau. Mickey. Technically. Oh my god. Hello. And Ambrose is 16. No. All right, you guys are going first. So what it's going to do, um, 
since you guys were able to distract it, um, it is like starting to run towards you and is gonna like bound over you. That's what it's gonna do to get to Dara. Since I already have my rope out, can I attempt to make another lasso and lasso it? Hold on guys, before you guys Hold do anything. As a goat, I have an ability. Uh, As a goat, I have an ability. It's called charge. I can fucking charge the dragon. As long as I move 20 feet forward, I do an extra 2d4 damage. It is only a medium-sized drake, so you can certainly charge it if you want to. If I, it if was you never just, a question of size. If oh, okay. you just bat, I think the cow would move out of the way. Yeah, if you just bat, that all fucking... That was... <laughs> that was two of them at the same time, and that was weird. That was like 50 that decibels. Was, Jesus. That was so much... If you just man, I'll oh, fucking man. There you go. There you go. I will. <laughs> yeah. Ambrose and Mara- Macau part like the Red Sea, I'll giving you a clear, g- giving you a clear path of this uh, bounding Drake who is just. <laughs> you are equally charging them. <laughs> You were, my rope dart out, I'll spin it. you were seeing a large curved horn lasso. ram charging this uh, bounding gray drake. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen. This is the greatest thing I've it's ever great. seen. It's great. Holy shit, that hits. I hope. That's uh, Should. 22 to hit. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go. God, I hit. Let me get some more d4s. How many do you need? I just need three more. I got you. I have all three. No, JK, I have two. No, I have three. Feeling this? Yeah, no. Go ahead. I lied. Not bad. It's not bad. I not think bad. he was saving all of his good rolls while he was in for yeah. wild shape oh. as a human. As a human. All of his He's you. Fifteen bludgeoning damage. <laughs> so Darren, Does charge do anything else? Is there any added things? I need a strength saving throw. That's what I thought. Does it get blasted? Yeah, this thing might get blasted its fucking ass off the mountain. No. No? No. We'll no do that. But... Strength is pretty good. But is it good enough? 18. Yeah, that's a definitive yeah. save. Okay. My DC was 13 and it would have just been knocked broken. Oh. Which would have been really good. Yeah. yeah. So this thing, both of these things go charging at each other. This Drake jumps up as Dara just boo with its horns. You can hear, you can hear as this thing is now like draped across your horns, but then it like grabs onto you and it's about ready to like bite into your neck. So what is everyone else doing as this thing I'm just like I'm gonna charge it with my glaive and get 10 feet from it. I'm just stab at it. Okay. Twice. First one is the second one hits. Okay. It's a unnatural 20 to hit. I lied, I was using my battle axe. I would do have the modifier for that instead. It would be a 21. Yeah, I've done that. Before. So what were both rolls? Uh, uh, one was a two on a die, so okay. I intend to hit. Uh, no. Exactly. 10. Uh, 10 points of- Ow! The fact that they the go- <laughs> That, that's wild. <laughs> okay. Listen, you ran the fuck out of it. All right. Very good. I want to go punch it. All right. This thing is on top of a large creature, but sure, go ahead. I want. Is it okay for for monk flavor? Is it possible for, for me to use it as like a medium sized creature? The Drake is a medium sized creature. Yes. Wait, I'm bigger than the Drake. Yes. <laughs> So, That's why I said your like size wasn't uh, didn't mean anything to you. Compared to Macau, who is five five, how big is this boy? It's medium size, so it would be 
longer than you. It's okay. shorter than you, but size wise, or I guess it is medium size, so it would be. Is horse considered medium size? Yes. yes. So it's horse size. Okay. Can I? Can I mount up? Can I get up on it and just start? Bah, 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 bah. Acrobatics followed by attack. Okay. Some, because I'm assuming Dara's not uh, uh, stasis. <laughs> for acrobatics. Yeah. Yes. 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 That'll that work. I was so worried. I was like, "That is a nine. Yeah. And I remember so that this thing is like grabbing onto his horns, and I'm assuming you're like flailing yeah, I'm around. Trying with to it. like yeah. flip this thing off. Mm-hmm. But... And it's just... <laughs> like that. And then, as very much mon- monster hunter style, you like and climb up on it. Hell yeah. And does what? What like is its back? Like, like, does it have anything I can grab onto, or is it yeah? Still- so it's it's almost like plated scales, like on top of each other, so you can like grab like into it. Okay, then I want to yeah. grab one. Like shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I want to like grab and like hook my fingers with my mm-hmm. gloves on under one of them and just poof, 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 just start beating. Yeah. The, fuck. the moment you like grab onto this thing's back, it like snakes its head around, and you can see it's like <laughs> saliva falling. Yeah, and then <laughs> so go ahead and make an attack. Okay. I'm just holding off for dear life and beating the mm-hmm, fuck out mm-hmm, of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So first one, uh, 15. Hits. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll for the second attack, because I get two. Mm-hmm. That's a now one. Um, but then, sure, I'll use a key point. Wait, you roll a nat one? Yeah. Do you have your mecha gauntlets on? <gasps> Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. It will happen. So your first attack goes off. Yeah. So just, deal damage. And then, okay, so. Well, what happens? Seven points of. Punch. Okay, so on the nat one, as you rear back and you go to hit again, you hear <laughs> as this thing like unsheaths from your hand or like um, unmolds from yeah. your hand, I guess. And then you just, the weight of like 15 bricks immediately, and you are just like, boom. And as this thing is moving around, make another, uh, I'm gonna say athletics checks to hold on or be dragged down by the mecha gauntlets. Yeah, in this case, it's definitely athletics. 16. 16, Damn. yeah, is fine. You are weighted down and you're able to like, since you were, you know, holding on to yeah. it, you're able to hold on to the gloves from the inside, but it is okay. taking every ounce of strength not to be whipped off in this thing. Okay, then I'll take my hand out and then I will just keep punching it. I want to do a flurry of blows and just <laughs> If it's still like, Okay, sure. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll probably like mm-hmm. off or whatever. Okay. Onto the, the ground, but I just. Bah, bah, bah. All right, go ahead. Right, okay. Two more times. Uh, an unnatural 20. Hits. Oh, wait. 19. Hits. Still. <laughs> Missed. Okay, so I hit the D1. Let's see this. Five. No. Punch. No. Yes. Punch. All right. So you are wailing on this thing. You can see that it looks fatigued, like it's struggling to stay on. Mirage, what are you doing? Go ahead. (laughs) Damage. Go. (laughs) Boom. Yeah, just level one. No. Very good. It seems fatigued. Oh, Ambrose also threw uh, Eldritch Blast. One of them hits. Hell yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. Cantrips are improved. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So his Eldritch Blast is like... Is oh, my cantrips improved? Probably not. Two, or maybe five points is. of force damage for him. Woo! Uh, go, so I can't cast spells. Fuck. Holy fuck. That's almost max damage. Damn! <laughs> oh! Nice! So, and that's plus one for each of the darts, right? Yep. Yeah, so, so that's four, 11. eight, eleven, fourteen. Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh, so, yeah. boom! This thing, like, <laughs> you see, like, smoke and or dust kind of like 
off this thing. You see uh, bits of like blood and like a chunk of flesh kind of like <laughs> fall off of it. And it's still like <laughs> struggling to hold on. And it, it's you see it like going to like death throws now, almost like a crocodile, just like shaking and violently trying to like throw Macau off while also like trying to like sink its teeth into Macau and then like tear him and then go back to you. Like it's just trying to do everything at this point. So I need you to make another athletics check while it's trying to buck you off. And then gonna uh, if you fail, you fall. Uh, if you succeed, it's gonna try to bite you. Athletics. Athletics. It was so fucking good. <laughs> oh no. It was almost a 20. But. It literally went. <laughs> and it fell. Okay. So you <laughs> fall to the ground. You are prone on the ground. Um, so this thing is now going to make a bite attack against the goat. It's going to try to rip flesh, rip and tear. Uh, 15. Goat. 15 to goat. No. Oh, yeah. Very good. That's not even a question. All right. Goat soft. You take 10 points of piercing damage. Tender is the flesh. Bites into your neck. Tender is the flesh. So good. The goat is alive. He's still alive. Wait, I can, don't have a thing that allows me to humanize him. Uh, you have your special feature. Fuck yeah, I have my special feature too. It is gonna hit you again. Um, that one is a uh, 24. I'm it's, not gonna live. Goat's gonna die. 10 yeah, points of piercing dead. damage as it goes dead. Goes dead. Sings into your neck and it, like rips what you think would be flesh out, but as it like rips it out, Dara transforms back, but you see in its mouth now as it like rips it out and like kind of like jumps off and turns around, it's just vines hanging down from his mouth Yo! that he just goes, and it just goes Good everywhere. Um, it's still standing. Surprise. It's still standing. Uh, you can clearly see like its chest is just bruised to all get out. Uh, where you were hitting it also is like it's bleeding on its back. Um, part of its scales are like <laughs> concave now. <laughs> but it's still standing and it's just looking at you hungry. It's not gonna give up. It wants its meal. Question: mm -hmm. Is it is it a time thing to wait for the gauntlets to want to work again, or is it like would it take me an action to put them back on? Um, I believe it's a time thing for it. Mecca. does not allow you to use them until the end of your next turn. Okay. Very good. All right. I'll let them take a break. What are you guys doing? This Drake is still standing. It's I'm looking off. at you. All Twice. right. Go ahead. With battle You want to let me try to stun it first? Go for it. I can try. Try to stun it. Cause then, cause then, bonks are real good. Mm -hmm. So I will they have advantage, correct? Okay. Or is it automatic succeed? Um, it's definitely not automatic. Okay, I will, that is cool. I will try to get like one hit normal, and then the next one try to study oh, strike. Mm -hmm. So I'll do the normal huh. hit first. Uh, Nineteen hits. Okay, damage. It's a six, right? Yeah. Max damage. 10. And. 10 points of damage. Uh, 10 points of. Blah. And then, stunning strike. I have to make a melee attack first. Uh, 17. Hits. Slay. I need a con save from the Dwayne. Mm, uh, 3. 6. You needed 10. Oh, you needed. <laughs> you, you need. He failed. It's a 13. So, okay. <laughs> um, it is stunned until the end of my next turn. All attacks against this creature have advantage. They all have advantage. Yeah. Okay. So as this thing like is just standing <laughs> there, you 
run towards this thing and it tries to like take a step forward, but you see it like collapse from fatigue and you just, <sighs> I want to go right where the, that bit of the flesh fell off that, yeah. that she hit, so I just right where it's fighting. Wonderful. <laughs> you, as you connect with this thing, you're able to like, force more power into it, almost mm. hitting like a chakra point. <sighs> and um, you kind of feel like your ripple of physical power just emanate through this body. And then as you like pull back, immediately this thing's eyes kind of like glaze over before it just like, nice. and just freezes up. All right. I would like to bonus action bonk. Go ahead. Because apparently, I thought Sunning Strike was a bonus action. It's just melee attack. You just have to, mm-hmm. you don't do damage, you just melee. Yeah. So I would like to bonus action bonk. Sure. 15. Hits. Thanks. 10! Points of damage? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you Stunning Strike this thing, pull back. How do you want to do this? Oh! oh. Sorry! <laughs> It was on his last legs. Oh, yeah. oh, I would have more. So there were supposed to be two, remember? Ah, uh, and they all drank. Uh huh. Then okay. Then what I'll then what I'll do. This is gonna be kind of gross, but I need you to go with me. So, <laughs> so I, bear with me. So I punch it, and it gets kind of like oh fuck, and I go sick, and I'm gonna I'm gonna like shove my hand into the opening and take my other hand and wrap it around us. So I go, Arnett! Oh, no! <laughs> Just let him come get it. All right, Arnett. Come get it. What are you doing? Come get it. My hand's inside of its guts. Come get it. Can I, like, I'm going to try to, like, cleave it in half right, like, in between where, like, Macau is holding it and just sure go straight for it. Yeah. As Macau's holding, you bring your, what are you using? Battle axe. Yeah, you're using battle axe and just one swift motion. Cleave right through it and you just hear. Oh, 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 I thought I was so scared. I thought it was going to And like part of it just collapses on either side. Fatality. Ugh. Ah, fuck my mouth. You want one? No, I have just experienced death. Um, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes, Come you on. have. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Do not. Sorry. No. Ambrose. No. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> what is everyone I'm feeling saying? after mountain climb and dragon fight? Drake fight. Bitch. Um, Ow. I am sticky. I am dead. Oh, I'm fine. I prefer fighting than climbing. Right there, hey, I'll you, have my arm. You guys okay? Yeah, I think it'll be fine. I'll just. You, you yeah, how, how are you? I'm just gonna water this <laughs> for a bit. Got a little scraped up on the way down. How bad? Uh, five points of damage. Right. Just pretty scraped up. It's not super bad, but it's like they it slid bad. down the mountain and the rocks just. It's just trying to determine. Red with a lot of. That's going to be way overkill, but using two spell slots instead is brutal. Could also just take a short rest. Yeah. That I didn't consider. <laughs> <laughs> Big brain! <laughs> biggest, biggest brainus. All right. I don't remember any of my features. Reset short rest. Wild shape. Wild shape is short rest. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. That shit's crazy. That's insane. That shit is crazy. <laughs> All right. As you guys are on top of this mountain, after successfully climbing it and fending off the uh, mountain drakes of this area, you gaze over the horizon, looking over the beautiful rift lands, um, way over on your left, which would be like towards the northwest-ish, um, you see a massive river flowing down until um, it goes like way beyond your eyesight. Um, you see the rolling hills and large rock formations that make up the rift lands. Um, just nice green rolling hills. The again Scottish Highlands like different animals crossing here and there. Um, it is just a beautiful, 
scene as you're up on top of this mountain and then way 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 off in the distance maybe about a day and a half away you see um a town like a large vast forest and then like in the middle of it um like an outcropping i guess you could say um is a town and smoke rises from it oh and that's where we're gonna end the session well shit Smoke as in like from a ch- from a chimney, or no. as in fire. Yeah. Oh. As in the village is on fire, or. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And so, the rift seekers now find themselves surveying the horizon, and have found their first point of interest: a town. Nestled in a verdant forest with smoke rising from it. Ambrister's forces have made their move. And now the Rift Seekers, guided by the will of the Blooming Gods, must aid the endangered town. Lest Ambrister leaves another bloody stain on the biosphere. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend, and goodbye for now.